Should I? All right. Oh, did you? Nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 I got Only more coming. Months. I got, I got more <laughs> coming. It's at the, uh, it's at the post office. I just got to go pick it up. Right. So. That's, that's what I did today. So. Yeah. Yeah. So Perfect. anyway, we, uh, we're, we're going to start the show at seven o'clock for everybody watching right now, but we're just, yeah. uh, just cracking it. Did you get any beer ready for tonight? Oh, Should giddy up, ready? buddy. Yeah. <laughs> the, only thing is after this, nice. the only thing after this, all I have is shitty Coors Light, which I don't like drinking. <laughs> So, uh, Unless forgot. Coors Light wants to sponsor us. Well, yeah, well, I should say that right now. Yeah, Coors Light. Oh, it'd be great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so where, yeah. did, did you get out on the weekend, but or is it toast all? I guess it's toast. Oh, it's, it's toast gone. Toast. It's yeah, done. Yeah. 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 What it's a stupid done. question yeah. that was because I seen it yeah. when I was driving up. <laughs> oh, yeah, for but, sure. When did yeah. you start to see snow? Like when you when you were out in the road? Gary, we left. It was it was mine. It was plus 17 down here. And we drove, I'm not kidding you. Even past Timmins, we were about half an hour outside of Cochrane, and then we were like, okay, thank the Lord. And it literally, so like when we left, it was plus 17. And by the time we got to Cochrane, it was minus nine and snowing like the blazes. Oh, so, geez. That's yeah. ama- that's amazing. Yeah. I know I like I like I've got the pictures to show the, the gangs tonight. Yeah. So no, it was good, man. Happened, and and so. from 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 Cochrane up to Cap to Hurst. So when it was raining south of Cochrane, Cochrane didn't get as much yeah. snow, but but they got hammered with about a foot of snow cap and hearst so the trails yeah. were unreal like we went up there i'm like what this is crazy it was 17 degrees this morning and i'm snowmobiling like or that was the next day yeah. but still it was crazy man. yeah mark bow asked me to if i wanted to go to cochran and I, like on the weekend like next weekend but it's like oh, i'm it's getting toast mixed now, reviews of how, yeah that's what i heard yeah well, so there you go so it's you, not just well, it's not toast now for gary it's just you got to look at the temperature it will be toast like it's it's a, above zero the whole week there like four degrees, yeah. three degrees. So it'll be now. I bet you if you went to Cap, like if you drove the extra hour and a half and went north northwest to Cap, you'd be fine. But Cochrane yeah. was getting thin about 10 kilometers from Cochrane, 10 kilometers out was thin, and then past that it was amazing. So. Yeah, it's it, it, it's kind of the same theory I have for like that early January riding. Like yeah. if I'm gonna drop a grand on a snowmobile trip, I want it to be perfect trail conditions, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so. Listen, it was good. I put on another. I was glad because it, it put my kilometers over than what I was, you know, for the year. So, I'm happy. <laughs> so did you beat up? Did you beat Mike Eisenberg? Or are you still behind him? Uh, and what's that? Oh, for kilometers, I don't know for what kilometers. he ended up f- finishing with. Uh, but 30, I'm pretty happy. Thirty six hundred, I think. Oh, he I beat said. him. I it beat was... him. Yep, yep, I beat him. Right on. Good job. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Can't yeah, get those so. sled addicts get out of your way, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, right, so. But uh, we're at 7 o'clock. I'm going to roll the credits here. We'll get going. Let's do it, bud. Yeah. Here we go. Where are they? <laughs> this is how it starts all, every week, guys. If you're wondering what behind the scenes <laughs> looks like, this is this is it. <laughs> uh, you do a good Only job, Rich, bud. And Rich doesn't – you do too. I, yeah. Rich doesn't have to tell me to hit record because it's been going <laughs> for five minutes. <laughs> Maybe we should always do that. I don't know. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. Welcome, Welcome to Snowmobile Sessions Live on YouTube and your favorite podcast platforms. We're the number one destination to learn about snowmobiling, network with other sledders, and have an awesome time doing it. We'll meet other snowmobilers that share your passion and show your fan photos along the way. Snowmobile Sessions Live. Enjoy the ride. It's a journey. This episode of Snowmobile Sessions Live is brought to you by Energy Power Sports. They're Oakville's full-line BRP dealer with sales and service to all BRP models and so much more. Do you know that your spring order event's on and you've only got till March 31st to put your order in? And no kidding aside, they are running out of sleds. So um, most dealers have run out. So if you're thinking about buying a new sled, you better get your order in fast energypowersports.ca tell john luke you love rich and gary from from the podcast and he'll love you right back thanks guys hey Yay. there he is how are you rich good buddy kind of weird what kind of reminded me of the first episode we did buddy it was daylight out like this right because we sprung oh, ahead shit, yeah. yeah i'm looking outside yeah, right, and it's daylight buddy we're doing a show here so but I know you know what had a good season think, we can't but... complain you know so no yeah yeah Let's see. Uh, it's, we had a couple of questions. Hey, hey, where's Bobby? 
Yeah. Well, Bobby's got the COVID, yeah. so he can't. Uh, he can't. Uh, he he was trying. He was he was toughing it out. He had uh, had a rough day yesterday, but today he's got no voice and headaches and everything else. So COVID's yeah. the real deal, man. If someone like Bobby can get it, you can too, man. And and everybody yeah. should uh, should take the precautions. Yeah, send him be- our best. He'll get better. He'll be back next yeah, week. Yeah, for sure. Hope, so. For sure. He said uh, he said he wanted to leave a message that everybody should uh, should super chat mud brats tonight, just in his honor. <laughs> cheers! <to> that, <laughs> I'm eh? just kidding. Yeah, Cheer- here's cheers to uh, to Bobby. Hopefully, yeah, get better. Hopefully, buddy. he gets better soon, and we'll see him next week for sure. And um, shameless plug here, but get your COVID mask and protect yourself at stufflikethis.ca/slash mask. You can get your favorite snowmobile on there, but also do custom ones as well. You want Can Am or Yamaha ATV or anything like that? Uh, I can make them up for you. So just hit me up there, stuff like this.ca slash mass, and we'll make her happen for you. But yeah, Rev Rider says thanks for keeping keeping the show going for me, boys. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So we, who else we got here? David Evans. Hey guys, great show. Uh, this is on Calu Sleds. Hey guys, nice and early today. Of course. Rich and I are getting sick of you guys uh, jabbing us for being late every week, and we always have uh, technical difficulties. Hey, and uh, big shout out to Dustin Ingram. He kicked it off early with a super sticker. Oh, nice! Didn't even see it there. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. I thought I did. I was getting my my camera ready. That's right. Right. Well, on. That, Thanks, that Dustin. Was, that was yeah. That was awesome. So thank you so much, man. Here, I got to put that up on screen. Right and uh, and then we're going. Thanks to everybody last week that super chatted as well. I'll put a list together uh, for next week's show. I just got. Uh, I had a busy day. I thought. Uh, you, I thought I'd have more time. Oh yeah, I thought I had more time, but it was like back to back meetings. So Dominator two eighty six says even evening agents. And then he says <laughs> gents. Shh, don't tell anybody we're agents. That's uh that's a last thing. <laughs> Dustin, who's ready for snowmobile sessions? Make sure you hit that like button. Cheers, boys. Yeah, hit the like button yeah, for, for sure. sure. Love that. What's up, boys? Corey Brock, hey, welcome on board, Corey. Pro Polaris, what's up, sled heads? Unreal tonight, boys, Corey says. Uh, G Money, where's Bobby? We answered that. Slow B, what's up, fellas? Hey, yeah. Slow B hit 1K. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah. Congrats, buddy. Yeah, that's awesome. Freaking eh? right. That's awesome. Very and good. you know what? That was a great video he put out on it. it yeah, for cool. sure. Love it. For sure. Yeah, great guy. Uh, good Dominator YouTuber. Rich, how's it going? What's that? I said another good YouTuber. He's great. Slow, slow. He's he got some good stuff coming Oh, for right. sure. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah, so. He's hey, back. hey, Robbie Bell says, Luckar69, it's so snowing in central Minnesota. You guys in the Northeast got more than we did in the Midwest, Dominator says. That's cool. J Fly Lowe's in the house. Hey, everyone, he says. And Sled Squad says, feel better at Rev Rider 550. And Jumpman Jay's over on Revy's side. He says, hey, fellas. I think Jumpman Jay. At Rich, are you going to get a new sled next year? Yes. I'm just waiting on two dealers to battle it out. So oh, cool. going with an nice. 850 XCR. Yeah. Black. Nice. Oh, so. per- perfect. Now, 137? Uh, the 136. Yep. Yep. 136. 136. Yep. Yeah. There yep. you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's yep. awesome. Yeah. I'm going to go to the coupled route now, boys. <laughs> yeah. The, the trails, the trail side. All right. Right. Jacob yeah, Harney from the Michigan. Hold on, Jacob. We got the outlaws. He says, time to put the skidoos away and break, break out, out the, the skidoos. <laughs> yeah. Slowly says, time. Gary, upload. I, lo- I lo- uploaded a 600R review today right up your alley. Yeah, I did see Whoa. that. I got to watch that. I-, I seen it pop up before I came on here. I didn't have time, but I'll watch that later on tonight, Sloby. Was it a red uh, Was it a red skidoo in the in the thumbnail? Yes, I believe so, because I seen it. I went, went by and yeah. said, oh, I got to watch that later on. So Did you see Did you see the snow tracks? They raced a 600R and a, and a 650? I, I did. I watched it. Uh, I didn't get to watch all of it, but when I was in Cochrane there after we rode the, for the day, I, I did put it on there, but I didn't get through the whole thing. So, yeah, they, uh, it wasn't that close. Or, I mean, sorry, it wasn't that far apart. No. And, no. and the, uh, the, the skidoo was running a bigger, bigger skid. It was a 137 as opposed to 129. And the, um, and they did a rolling start too, which wasn't, I don't know why oh, yeah. they did that, but, yeah, but it, it was one. 
it was two sled lengths if it was three. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was, yeah, it well, was 50 cc's from. and it's not even 50 cc. So, you know, yeah, but of course, and yeah, the but... bigger sled should win, right? In theory. And if it's yeah. not that much for, well, then there you go. That's the difference of 45 cc's, right? So, yeah. But, oh, uh, Jumpman Jay's back on me. He says, I'm on both sides, always showing the love to both sides. Oh, he said, yeah. Yeah, he said, so you're getting off the assault. Why are we going that direction? I just want to change. I got, I had two assaults. I loved them and there's nothing bad about them. I love the way that thing hooked up. I'm probably going to miss that, but it's time uh, that, you know, they came up with the XCR this year and it's time for a change. So I'm going to try the, uh, the couple trails. Let, we'll see what happens. But you, you, um, you rode the attics coupled sleds in, in Quebec. Yeah, uh, but not long enough though, Gary, like we swapped off for well, half an hour, right? You need to, you need to give it a good, good ride. Right. So. But yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see what did happens. You, did you ride your buddy, uh, the the guy from the Beatles or from the the Monkeys? Uh, what's his head? Uh, hmm? His sled this year, the the VR one. That was Steve? yours is in the garage, Steve. Steve, Steve Jones. No, no. <laughs> you know what? I got to ride with Steve twice. That's the other thing too. And and you know what? Congrats to that, him and Rick. They put on a ton of kilometers because Steve they? retired. Right this year. Well, they retired yeah, this right year. He rode a lot. They rode a lot between. Uh, Monday and Thursday. So I think Steve had over 5,000 kilometers on his sled, 5,700 and doing all the local because of the COVID stuff. Right. So yeah, I had a nice chat yeah. with Steve today. He's snow checking an XCR as well. And, uh, oh, my sweet. buddy Gord, who's been a long, long time do guy snow checked the VR one. So <laughs> is he the guy with the 900 A's? Uh, no, that's Rick. Rick staying with his skidoo. Oh, okay. you won't get Rick off okay. his skidoo. You know, he loves, he loves yeah. that sled. Another great guy that we snowmobile with, uh, Gord had, uh, you know what, what did Gord have? Gord had an MXZ X. I think it was three years old. E50. Nice. He loved it. A great sled. He just wanted to try something different. And, uh, you know, with his son, with the relations with the, the Polaris dealer out West, he thought he should start supporting. Right. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But he God, loved his, he, he loved his do. He loved his do. Loved it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, geez, so. too bad you didn't know someone that might want might be looking for a Gen Four. <laughs> oh, you know what? I never even thought. Well, because he traded it in, and they gave him a half decent deal. I think he went to the guy in a really or close to him somewhere. I can't remember the name of the dealer. So, yeah. So <laughs> you gotta go to you gotta go to Energy Power Sports. Oh well, he's way this up is, north, bud. He's up north. I know, right? So That's I, okay, I you know, listen. I've pushed John Luke a lot with the guys, and we were talking. No, I've seen guys on the on the weekend. I was talking to that are. You know, there was a couple of do guys there, so yeah. So I think I've no, I think I've sold more sleds than his sales guy does. Well, you have to start getting some commission, but <laughs> you no know, kidding, eh? No kidding. Yeah. So no, so. that's cool. The uh, the uh, I don't know. I my dog now needs surgery too, so it's, oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but it's gonna be all yeah, right. Yeah, it's probably a few grand. It's like I can't win for I can't win for, for losing. Yeah, I'm I know, saving but... up a good saving up a good bucket, and then we had to fix the front end rattle and then and then i think i'm on the right track and then the freaking dogs yeah well that's well, yeah you'll get there bud we'll get you on a sled oh center. i will for yeah. sure for sure yeah. i'm hey, not worried boys in the house shag boys. Hey, hey, shag. Shag, shag boys watch your video yeah, Red Rider's on my side now too he's got the oh, he? he says pat pro polaris the <laughs> cheers in there slow b says shag shag's doing good too Nice pro polaris. Odie, 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 Odie the sled and car guy says out. <laughs> did you see oh, my I'm, new video there? I did. I, I, did. I, I caught it this morning while I was drinking my coffee, but I almost spat it up. That was a good one. I was going to text you and I got busy too. So that was awesome. And hey, I, I give you kudos. That, How many kilometers did you stay on that old boy for? That, that, that's the old S2000 oh, no, chassis. Not, yeah, no, not too far. Um, maybe maybe three miles four miles it wasn't very far at all i actually that's pretty much live i cut out two spots one where we waited to, for him to like to pass us at the very start and then there's this one yeah i think that was the only spot i cut out actually okay the rest uh, the rest chops were just taking f shots out yeah but the um yeah so no i and and jesse actually texted me uh jesse bachman said uh, i thought it was gonna be a mock like it's like well what oh, would give you that idea i actually thought it was too i thought maybe you i thought maybe jean luc was the whole idea that, but, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that was no that point. was the whole idea behind it though yeah so, right on. well a right lot on. of people didn't believe i had a links out so yeah no yeah. that was awesome of jean luc to get that out man and get you guys yeah, out on it yeah. and give your opinion yeah, so sure. that was good there'll be a lot yeah. oh i meant to tell you i saw a guy actually in, Co in cochran had one he actually bought it from his dealer 
So the I guess the dealers uh, were allowed to sell yeah. it. it. Was very similar to the the XRSs when they had the 20, 20, 20 and a half, or was it twenty one and a half? I can't remember. No, it's twenty yeah. twenty and a half when they came out. So this guy on on up in Cochrane, we saw him pull over, stop, and he he actually bought the links. So and he was out yeah, uh, well, messing around on the side. Yeah, John Luke probably could have sold that one twenty times over for way more than MSRP because people oh, were begging sure. him, and he's yeah. like, no, nope, it's a dealer demo. He wants guys that bought to come in and see it and sit yeah. on it and. And even he had it out on the trails. He had it in Bancroft there after I wrote it just oh, to awesome. say, you know what, if, if you see him, you can ride it, you know, kind of nice. thing. So I love that. Like he said, at it all is. costs, yeah. he's not going to sell it. Like, well, and that's uh, he, great because you, you'll probably get more sales, Gary, by doing that. You know, if you think about it. Yeah, for sure. So, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but they've sold a pile of them. Like uh, the, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how many people are, uh, are, are, like what the percentage is to regular skidoos or mocks to links like but i know they've sold a pile of uh of links it's for sure so right tony that's Cat. cool so he was between an so, xcr and a thundercat he demoed a thundercat and he fell in love good tony cat get, go for it buddy that's awesome if, if you like yeah. that those t-cats are nice and you'll have the eps steering on it which will help huge in the corners so that's awesome. that's nice yeah. eh yeah you'll love what that a sled, jump tony man cat. Jumpman Jay says, so what's the XC, why, what makes the XCR sled choice of the year this year, fellas? Well, just doing my homework on it, and uh, it's quite beefed up. It's got the four four idler wheels in the back, the rails, the solid jack shaft, a whole whack load, you know, the brakes system. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it yeah. is. I may miss the assault. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know, but we'll, we'll find out. There you go. Yeah. 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 Well, you did good. I was worried about you there for a bit because you seemed to be not getting the mileage in, and then all of a sudden, boom! At the end, you you just yeah. Well, yeah, I got up to Sudbury and then Cochrane. So without those, and actually, you know what? All my miles, ninety percent of my miles, Gary, were trips. Quebec. Yeah, good. Sudbury, yeah. Cochrane, and uh, I mean, I had a couple. I rode a couple times with Steve and Gord at the beginning of the season, but the trails were just opening up. So you know, so I got a couple of rides in with those guys that I normally ride with all season. So. I missed riding yeah, with those guys, cool. but I also made a ton of new friends, great riding guys. So met a bunch of that's new guys cool. here at, at up in Cochrane too as well. So so that's what be. it's all about. Yeah. Hey, no, let's for uh, sure. let's let's do some fan photos. We got some good ones here. So sounds good. We'll let's do it. Hold on a second here. Oh, where, what happened to me? <laughs> Hold on a second here. And don't forget, guys, if you want to, um, if you want to do the, uh, the, uh, if you want to do uh, show fan photos, I'll pull some live tonight from uh, from the email. So here, I'm just going to put the email up here that you can send it to because we don't have a lot. Snowmobile season's ending, so it's pretty lean. Or you guys just hate us. I don't know. One of the two, right, Rich? <laughs> yeah, well, I, that's, they keep forgetting. <laughs> like, eh? not, not these guys. Actually, yeah. the love's still there. We got good numbers watching right now. We got seventy-five view and viewing that's right awesome. now. That's that's pretty much normal. I, I just want to answer Tony Cat here, uh, Gary, for a sec. Yeah, I pulled the yeah. plug. Figured I can't wait for the new chassis if it happens. But their new front end and clutch was a hundred times different than my current front end. And just to let you know, Tony, apparently when Cat changes their clutch, you know they're coming up with a new chassis. So just an FYI for you guys. So oh, that's, really, it's eh? always followed. Whenever they left the team clutch and went to their own Articat clutch or vice versa, they had a, a new chassis coming in behind. So that's just giving you a little bit of, you know, info that I think, I think Kat and Yamaha will be coming up with a new chassis either next year, or, you know, hopefully. So we shall see. So, and you won't regret that, Tony. You you, you know what? You're going to love the T-Cat with the EPS. Be good. I'm looking oh, forward yeah. to seeing what he thinks of it when he gets to ride it. So that's awesome. he have to let us know. Yep. Snowstorm says he tends to ride, not take pictures. He needs to get better at it. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's, I've ridden with a few guys and they just blast. I go over something and I go, that would have been an awesome photo. Like like Mike K and Odie last weekend. Odie loves pictures. You yeah. know that. Mike yeah, K yeah. though is gone. Like yeah, I'm surprised Odie ever gets a picture with, with Mike K Skidoo because he <laughs> is gone. Like yeah. there's a going to Perry Sound, there's a spot where they ripped out this bridge and okay. the, the abutments are still there. And yep. they built a little wooden bridge right beside them. And I'm like, that is so cool. 
and we blew right through it. All you see is snow dust. Yeah. <laughs> so it's right like, on. yeah. And right I thought, on. well, we'll get it on the way back, and we didn't. So yeah. But well, you got made some yeah. good videos this year, Gary. You you got a pretty good oh, eh, dude, considering. Yeah. You know what's funny is my videos are here. I got to get right back to the beginning because I'm way out. Yeah, here, we're going to do your pictures first. Um, oh. No, well, the, uh, I haven't put any videos out. Like the videos I put out are the ones I can, I was telling Mark Bo today, the ones I can edit in, a, in an hour and slap up because I I haven't had time. I've got right. rides footage like crazy. It's like between this show and then yep. I usually do one short one a week. Yeah. It's like. Ah oh, man, I just gotta get into you guys it. Been putting out good content. I got a ton in the bank. I just gotta end it. I, I've just been lazy. That's all it is, man. I'm, I'm, you know what? That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. I just haven't had time, and I, I don't <laughs> like. I don't know whether I'll, I'll edit the rest. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, I put out, and I've got ATV stuff to come out with now, and right. You know, so we'll get to it. I'll get some stuff out in the next week or so. Yeah, I'll, I'll start we'll dropping mine in the summer <laughs> when no one cares yeah. and won't watch. I'll have. I know, views. and then and then you don't get very view. You don't get very uh, many. That's Bobby yeah. and I talked about that. It's like yeah, yeah. You're the, you're the only one, but and people like it that that do tune in, but it's like you don't get yeah. any traction because YouTube goes, yeah, he's got thirty six views. It's like we'll just push this guy to the bottom. Yeah. You know, so, but uh, yeah. so, what are we looking at here, Rich? That was on our ride on the way up to the cap, and we had snow like crazy the whole entire way. And then when we got up to the cap, it got a little sunny in that. They had a ton of snow, so it was awesome, man. And it was, uh, I guess, it was about minus ten that day. It was pretty cold. It was good. That was on the Friday morning. That was a Friday morning. Big flow. So, there was a bunch of guys there. So a bunch of, uh, so my buddy. Colt, that's his Polaris over there. He's a Polaris ambassador uh, for around this area. And mm -hmm. I met uh, Ryan, Josh, his dad, um, two Ryans, actually. And you got every brand and, and, represented and, and, there. And Dan. Yeah, Dan was from Quebec City. Uh, he was on a do oh, as wow. well. Yeah, so there were three do's. We had three do's, three Yamahas, and two Polaris. And, and Colt and I were the only two strokes. The rest of the guys were all four strokes. So great group of guys. Awesome guys. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, yeah you got every, every, brand, every brand right yep. there. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. We did. Yeah, yeah. So there was nine of us total. It was a big group. So. Yeah. But yeah, I've seen that Yamaha before. I don't know whether it's on Instagram or. Yes, or it where, is. So it. so that's Ryan. He He's a Chaco rep and he also, he he does a bunch of stuff. I'll have to share his, his uh, that's right. a really nice yeah, guy. That, yeah, yeah. But that's right. The Chaco, it's the Chaco yeah. uh, it's snowmobile gear. Uh, yes. Instagram stuff. Yes. Yep, that's yes, in there. That's yep, yep. That Super nice yeah, guy. Cool. Great guy. Great guy. Yeah, cool. we had a good time. He'd be, he'd be pissed at you guys all wearing climb, huh? Oh no, 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 he's not like that. We were good. We were good too. Because I know uh yeah, he's he great guy. Really good, really nice yeah. guy. So and he had some chocolate so stuff. What, and actually the, the coats were really nice. Uh him and another guy, uh I forgot his name, man. Isn't that terrible? He's in the orange court. That's a chocolate as well, too. He had, uh, Ryan had the bright uh, lime squeeze chocolate coat on, and they're really nice. Their their gear's nice too. Yeah, yeah I had chocolate so. boots, and they were awesome. They're just too big. Dino gave yeah. them to me, and it's yeah. like, uh, yeah, they're too big for me. That was my first pair of when I started back in riding, and they were great boots. And yeah, no, yeah, they product, have some nice stuff. Sure. So, yeah. What uh, now? I'm looking at your sled there, underexposed. Uh, what uh, <laughs> can you divulge the colors you're looking at, or is that a secret? You know what? So. And again, I hope I don't offend anyone. That I was, I, I was building it so many ways. Again, <laughs> for the X here, they, they give me a lot anybody. Of no, well, I no. don't want to say anything. And they, this is just my personal preference. So they had the the red and black, like Nuns got his done, looks super nice. Um, and then they had the red, white, and blue. And I tried, I went with the blue spindles, blue tunnel, blue rails, and it looked nice. But then I was thinking to myself, they haven't made the X, you know, this first time in the Matrix. And I'm thinking everyone and their mother and cat and goat is going to be ordering the X, red, white, and blue and and and, and whatnot. So I decided yeah. to go with all black again. Richard's staying boring. <laughs> He's nice. going all black again. <laughs> Under I just, is rich. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, no, that's know. good. I you just, can always wrap it too, you know. Well, it's it's, you know what? That's the thing. That's the thing. I got a buddy, you know, yeah. that can probably wrap my sled for me, right? So <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, but you know what? Like, it's hard to it's hard to justify a wrap for a season, though. That's the that's a well, tough part, right? Well, I think I'll be keeping that one for a few years, but you know, we'll see. So. That's what you said about this last one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but Indian. yeah, we'll see. It's. I was saying to Corey, it's the only sport where you pay 
20 grand for something and you try to run the miles out in one season. <laughs> right. You know it's, what I mean? True. Let's wreck it first year. Let's wear it out. You right. know, it's true. It's true. It is, isn't so, it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but no, anyways, that was a, it was a fun weekend. Great bunch of guys, long way to drive, but you know what? It was well worth it. Like I said, driving up when it was plus 17, we were wondering what was going on, but yeah, so all those guys riding oh, yeah, the chocolate from, they were up there since Tuesday, so they did a lot of riding, and they said, "Hey, come up. The trails were pretty good." So, so we, we were happy oh, that we did decide. Nice to, go. to have someone planted yeah. there that you already know. Right, right? they live. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love because we were yeah. we were. I actually went on on the way up, and I booked us a room in in the cap just in case Cochrane was washed out too much because everyone was saying that the cap got tons of snow. They didn't get any rain. But we ended up uh, staying in Cochrane because it was pretty good. It, like it was good leaving there too. And then we, like I said, we rode up to the cap and and all that so it was good so yeah snowstorm uh, yeah. got the red white and blue xcr he said he needs to blend in oh yeah, yeah. that's a nice that's gonna it's a beautiful color man I, i'd like to see it actually nuns is going up to uh one of the dealers up north in kearney there i can't records because they they got them there yeah, this, Rick uh, Wards. yeah Rick Wards. Yeah. yeah so i was i was thinking of driving up and going to see it but i don't know if i, I was gonna go friday but I, I thought it was friday but it's saturday so so yeah the, um won't. No, that's that's cool. The uh, like the red, white, and blue is kind of classic style too, though, right? Like oh, yeah. I like that with Polaris how they they do a throwback usually to the yep. line. Like it's the same as when the Indy came back out. They have the exact yeah. same colors as the original Indy. I think that's really cool. Yep. Yes. So. And their blue is wild. It's cool, it, yeah. and it's a beautiful color. Like I said, don't get me wrong. I'm just like that. I'm I'm chicken if you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Being so flashy and that, so I, I stayed the boring black route. So. <laughs> yeah, I I love black sleds. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah. Luckar sixty nine. He says he says all black is sweet, and snowstorm yeah, yeah. says a mud brats wrap. Yeah. Um, right. The uh, yeah, I miss the factory shows too. There, snowstorm. Matthew Nicholson. The only trails in Ontario open right now is Cochrane and Timmins. LOL. Yeah, twenty six hundred kilometers of trails, and it's all it's all Cochrane, and then there's like little pockets of like. 40 I wouldn't think Timmins sections. was open because we went by there. It was it was bare bones, man. I, I think it's Cochrane Cap and Hurst. I don't think Timmins is open because when we went by there, yeah. it was pretty, pretty. Like yeah, I said, it was it's of, unreal how far you had to go before all of a sudden, wham, it was like night and yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I have a low mileage twenty one MXZ XRS eight fifty for you, Gary. Right you on, go. Brad Hitchcock. Send her over. Yes, that's it. Mm. There's a lot we'll of start there doing right the deal now. right here. We'll get Gary a sled tonight yeah. on the show. Let's do it. That's right. That's yeah. right. Oh, there's a there's a lot out there. I think it's uh I'm I'm hoping like I think there's a lot of people that actually are trading up. You see a lot of 21s, and mm -hmm. it's like I'm hoping the market's flooded and you it's gonna happen. Like even this year, the dealers all put in an advance quota on the mm -hmm. spring orders of yeah. what they can sell, and they've sold them. So oh, I know. What happens when deals what that are happens when, yeah. yeah, and I've seen a few sleds that are like 200 kilometers, and it's like it wasn't for me. And it's like, yeah. how many other people bought them and didn't realize? Like my wife goes, like when I said about how many new people, like 44 percent of the people that bought sleds this year are brand new riders. How many of them realize that? Oh crap! I I needed to trailer that and I didn't like trailering and I didn't like this and that. Like mm -hmm. how many of them are going to be like, as soon as travel opens up going bye bye snow and I'm going back to Florida for the winter or where, wherever they go. Right. Yeah. You're, you're going to get some of them, but then you're also going to get the guys that got into it and absolutely love it. Right. So yeah. So. Yeah. But, but yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, and maybe they rode as a kid and then they got back into it and rekindled it. But you know, yep. it was in, in hindsight, the trails weren't as busy as, as what they were the beginning of the year when that first ride I went on, I was like, Oh man, this is not the sport to be in this year. And it was after that when trails started opening up. So we have 2,600 kilometers of trails open now. And I remember the one day, not too long ago, there was 26,000 kilometers of trails open Yeah, out of 30,000. So yep. what does yep. that tell you? Like there wasn't yep. very many closed. No, no, for Ooh. sure. And it was good down south, right? Yeah. We all said that. Like, I mean, I rode from Port Perry. You were riding all around your house and so was yeah. Mike and Jesse and all those guys. So yeah, it was a good, it was a good year, man, for that, for the local yeah. guys. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. Well, I, I, uh, I put Drew Sled on, on Kijiji, which I, I haven't 
changed the uh, the pictures or anything yet. But the uh, I looked at the odometer and it was like sixteen thousand and change on the clicker. And I'm going like, how the hell did we do that in three years? Like like we bought it with ninety ninety two hundred on it or something like that. And we didn't we didn't do very good last year, but this year we rocked it. You yeah, know, and I good. rode more than him, so I don't even want to look at what Roscoe's clock says because <laughs> yeah. it's probably it's probably due for another one. Like that that fifty editions due for a for an upgrade for sure so it's going to yeah. happen it's yeah. just a matter yeah. of what it is so yeah, yeah. and you'll there's, get there's a lot there gary you'll get guys are still buying right now hey none sold his no. my buddy sold his, uh my buddy sold his uh his xcr yesterday while we were driving home to a, a really nice guy from ottawa you know so yeah i wonder if they're yeah. looking for new sluds because i'm not getting any hits on the old one really yeah. eh? because so, i heard it's all like yeah. everything's getting snapped up so you just give her some time yeah. though like I've got mine up there too. I had a guy on the way up to Cochrane and I blew it. He didn't even balk yeah. at the price. And I, he wanted me to pull into North Bay to show him on my way up. But I told him I was going ride. And he says, no problem. If I like it, I'll grab it on the way back. So That's I, awesome. I'm, I, yeah, I, well, listen. And then I messaged uh, Colt and I said, listen, there's a guy that wants to see it in North Bay. Are you all right if we whip in on the way? He's like, yeah, absolutely. Stupid me packing up and getting ready and all that. I didn't message the guy until we were getting onto the Highway 11. And I messaged him. He says, bud. He goes, I thought you were blowing me off. He goes, I just bought another assault 45 minutes ago. And I'm like, damn, he didn't oh even balk God. at the price. He was an older guy that, yeah. that had a couple of T cats and he's like, yeah, I want a Polaris assault. Didn't even balk at the price. Nice. Like, nice. Anyways. So it wasn't meant to there be. There you go. So I'll sell yep. it. So. Oh no, no, no problem. Uh, yeah. There will be deals to come summertime. So, uh, oh, yeah, Mike says sure. sled, uh, sled prices aren't dropping next season. They're not going to drop. No, demand's too high. They're going to yeah. drop. The demand's high, but there seems to be a lot of guys dumping sleds like yours. Like, I mean, not mm -hmm. yours, but the 21 850s. And yep. uh, Jesse looks like he got he took his to the dealer and did the deal. Um, yep. But, I mean, he got 16.5. That's good. That's generous. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So, yep. we'll see. Yep. Yeah. Why don't people wait to the fall to sell? Probably they just want it out of the way that they just – would rather have the peace of mind right well and there's people this year that waited too late and realized they waited too late so they're they're wanting to buy it now so that the same thing doesn't happen but yeah the pricing will still be yeah there. covid pricing yeah. i think will still continue what's well, the thing i don't know i don't know like i part of me says i want to just dump it and dump it for a cheap price i know i could sell it overnight or part yeah. of me just says just hang on to it till august anyway I, if you my only bite system this, this time, Gary, hold on to it. You will get you will get it. No, you'll have guys fighting over it in the fall, guaranteed. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. Guaranteed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. but yeah, pri privately through dealer on consignment, not traded in. Yeah, there you yeah, go. That's, that's what I'm doing too. To yeah, that's what everyone Save did. Colt, Colt did the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 And so did Nuts. Yeah. It's the way to go, man. Pro Polaris says I'll find an XCR. He says don't worry about it for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll get you in fall 100%. You'll get it in fall 100%. Oh, for sure I will. I'm no yeah. no doubt about that. If I just yeah. put more pictures on, I'd get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll <laughs> see. Stuff loads more. But yeah. Play it by your Don't hurry. Nope. There's lots. There's lots of time. There's yeah. lots of time. John Luke's always going to take care of me when I'm when I'm when the time's ready. Yeah, yeah oh, I know yeah, that. He, he Ener will. Energy oh, yeah, power he will. sports. Yeah, he yeah. Will. yeah, yeah. He did. We we talked about it already. So oh good. Oh, good, that's good. cool. So what's this? This is a neat sign, eh? You're kind of in the in the middle of the world here. Yeah, it was cool. It was like every direction, right? So I thought I got to take a picture of that. So yeah, it was good, man. Yeah, those trails yeah, I heard are beautiful. The I heard the Arctic yeah. riders do that. Do a good job, eh? They do amazing. Smooth Rock Falls is a little bit to be desired, yeah. but I, I I think they were having groomer issues too. So. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kevin Malkin. Hey, we need a meet and greet to ride in both Ontario and and Talk a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> Maybe with we can that. Get <laughs> there we go. I'm with Tug Hill meet Tug Hill yeah. meet up Old Forge, and yeah. yeah, let's do that. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta good. go to we'll Tug Hill. To I heard I I heard they're putting a bronze statue of me out in uh, out in front of City Hall in Tug Hill. <laughs> and you know what? They should have the button beside you when you push it. You hear that? <laughs> hey. Yeah, that would yeah. be good, buddy. It's like you walk up, get your selfie with my picture, and then you can. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> 
yeah, you know what? So, Zook, he's in the house. Oh, Zook, what's so, up, buddy? Yeah, so Zook and Shag his, his Boy, sled's dude. nice. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. See, his if I could find nice. even something like that, sweet man. That thing was in um, mint. That that, his yeah. sled's, that new sled he's got is in mint condition. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the uh, Jesse's cutting up the Arctic Riders Club. Yeah, I won't read yeah. it out loud. He's yeah, yeah. <laughs> go on to my chat and open it up, and you can see what he says. Shag and, and Zook went riding yesterday. Oh, they did. So we'll be seeing that, eh? Yeah, up that's the, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's good. No, well, that's great. So you know, I was going to say Zook and and uh, excuse me, Shag Boys for our last show. We're going to do the big party again. So I'm going to be getting everybody. I'm going to be right? emailing all my old guests right and, on. Uh, and we'll see who we can get. Maybe we can get Jesse James back on and we can get uh, shag and Gary and pasty boy and oh, who knows who else, you know, I don't think we'll see Dan Adams or Dave Narona might. He shouted me out there on his live stream a couple of weeks ago and the, yep. uh, so maybe maybe we'll see him, but we'll we'll try and get everybody together again to for the that'll last the last hoorah. Yeah, that'll be fun. There's Pasty Boy. He's in the house. What do you think of that idea, Pasty Boy? Oh, I know yeah, he'll really do it. He loves it. Oh yeah, yeah. Same yeah, with Shag. So. We got to get Zook yeah, on Jesse, too. Yeah, Jesse right? so. says, "Am I coming back on?" Jesse Bachman says, "Yeah, we'll get Sled Addicts on here." Uh, yeah, we'll he's on already. On. Yeah, 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 for sure. So yeah, you, I didn't see a super chat button hit there, Jesse. You didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll exactly. get him back on there. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we'll good, throw man. it to Ben, and we'll throw it to Ben on the on the fucking um, whatever channel he runs. Swanky Cat, we'll get him back in the house if he's. Oh up yeah, for yeah, it. he's good. He's he's got. I yeah. see he's getting his uh, his bike going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He. <laughs> that's his. That's his shtick. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah we'll see my, who else we can get comes on in here. next month, but I'm getting looking forward to it. So that's awesome. Yeah. Well, we're, we yeah. should have good weather by then, too. So, well, yeah, it's getting my, mild again. My, Drew, Drew just found my bike on Kijiji for $5,500. See? Holy crap. We got See? it. Oh, I got Bachman. There he goes. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. No, Another great cool. guys to Thanks. ride with. Yeah, that'd be so, fun, man. We didn't get out yeah. there. The, the, uh, we ended yeah. up, um, we tried to, we tried to meet up. Hold on. I got to display that. I got to find that. There we go. <laughs> Jesse, if I didn't spring check, I would have given more. Uh, that's awesome, yeah, that's, buddy. Uh, that's awesome. You don't pay till fall. Come on. That's yeah. an excuse in the fall. Thanks a lot. Jesse, he'll pull him awesome. up, Shag. Sled addicts. Gary will pull him up. Yeah. He sent you some, some, some photos. Well, that's all we got. Oh, tonight, absolutely. We'll, photos, we'll get so you there. We'll we'll just, yeah. It, right now it's the, the rich, out, rich outdoor shows. Yeah. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Look at the snow here, man. Oh yeah, it was unreal, and that's what's. Uh, and we weren't even uh, in uh, the cap yet, and the cap had more than that. Like it was snowing like crazy, so yeah, yeah it was good. And Hearst, the same thing. They had a ton of snow as well. So, yeah, Jesse but, from yeah. Sled Addicts. He says, "Gary, we got to ride together next year. No excuses. I didn't yeah. have any excuses. You, you actually decided to go riding with Snow Tracks TV or something like that. You said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Did Snow Tracks TV, not me." <laughs> yeah, well, I know. I'll remember you next week yeah. when the invites go out. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what we got to do is, uh, yeah. Oh, is it, oh, so is that the it? before? Is that the before picture, and this is after picture? <laughs> yeah, it's the intersection. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome where they intersected the the trails there. So, but yeah, it was pretty wild, That's man. It was good. A well groomed too. They groomed like crazy up there, man. We ran into the groomer every time we were going out and back. They That's were, cool. Uh, They're still yeah. running them like crazy, right? Oh yeah. 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 Corey says, "Sorry, Jesse was busy riding me." No, I, was, I wasn't last weekend. <laughs> Corey wouldn't ride with me either. Nobody would ride with me except except Odie, Odie and Mike. And then yeah. I went to got that great video of of the wildest sled in the world to ride. So, so yeah. this was a guy that um, I was thinking of Jesse because uh, <laughs> this was a, a you, the trail was wide open and then there was a turn. But thank God there was like an old trail that goes on by and three of the guys went blowing past the corner. They shot through the corner. So I wanted to get a photo of them all digging the one guy out. <laughs> oh my so, God. Yeah. yeah. So that's good that it has some runoff and not a not oh, a line of yeah. trees. Yeah, yeah. It was one of those yeah. things too. So yeah. 
Yeah, and there was just there, yeah, that's a nice there. blizzard there. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a 900 ace, not naturally aspirated one. Huh? Yeah, but it was blizzard too. That's it, great too. That yeah, yeah. That was Dave, the, yeah. the, the firefighter. Nice guy too. Another hilarious guy. Yeah. So, Jamie's corner. Yeah, I think it was Jamie's corners. <laughs> I was looking for the sign, uh, Jess, but I don't know. It was. Uh, it was one of those. So maybe he is saying it is Jamie's corner. But yeah, I was thinking about it when they went through. I was laughing at them. <laughs> Yeah. Jumpman Jay tried sending some picks in. I'm getting You're picks in. Everybody sent yeah, me. Yeah, it could be right. No, no, no. Everybody nope. sent me uh, pictures. Yeah. yeah, you're not sending videos again, are you? <laughs> That's what jammed up your mail last time. He, right? jammed, he jammed up my mail last time. It's That's like, right. Yeah. Geez. Maybe my maybe yeah. my uh, my blocker uh, is it tight? Is it right behind where the green water shacks are, Rich? Yes, it was close to that. Yep. So it probably is. It probably will. Yeah. It's deadly. Everybody yeah. blows, that, blows corner. that corner. It sounds yep. sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. But I had my gauge up, so I knew it was coming up. This was hilarious. Nice. I thought this was kind of cool. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't feed the Sasquatch, did you? Oh, yeah. We left him some beers and stuff. Uh, joking. We don't drink. Sam Squatch. Sam Squatch. He's Sam Squatch. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. That's that pretty good. cool. Yeah, there's that, the was, boys that was on the way back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was another one. That's cool. Yeah. And there's Ryan there with is the. That uh, is that the charcoal guy with the green, with the lime green? Yes. Yep. And then yeah, so the orange, on. the orange color was behind that charcoal too. And they were nice coats. So. Yeah. Yeah. Geez, that guy's oxygen matches it perfectly, huh? Yeah. That was uh, Dan from Quebec. Hey, and I, uh, what a wicked helmet too, because it had the light on. Um, like I was yeah. saying, like Justin and Mike had them too, which is wicked. Um, yeah. and, and the bright, uh, the bright helmet was awesome too. And a Colt yeah. was running, um, uh, Len Johnson's, you know, the led lights through, um, yeah. our guys at, uh, bite harder. Bite harder. Yeah. They're awesome. Yep. Yeah, and he had it on his mission helmet and they're awesome too. So I'm, I'm going to invest yeah. in one of those next year. Yeah, yeah you should, sure. you should put one on your mission yep. for sure. Yep. So yeah, I'll put them on both. I got one for my I got one for my modular for when some people are borrowing it. But uh, yeah. did you hook yeah, it up? The, the oxy- no, I didn't. the The yeah. oxygen lights are are pretty awesome, but they they're not amazing. visible during the day to the to a certain degree. But at night, yeah. man, they're just like they're amazing. It's like yeah. night rider. See, I'm getting dings all the time. It's there's jump man Jay. See, it got through last few they're picks of the in. season. I got tons yeah. of pictures coming in. The nice Thanks, thing about guys. the oxygen helmet too, though, Gary, when there was snow dust, even during the sunny, sunny days when we were in Quebec with Jess and Mike, I could see their helmets in, in the snow dust. Yeah. And that's what you want, yeah. right? So, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's cool. Can we get to a link to those, Rich? I want to add to a helmet. Yeah, I can send you a link right now to the yeah. Bite Harder. Yeah, the bite Harder. Yeah, because he's he's the rep up here in the thing. And they're amazing. And you know what the cool thing is? It runs off your helmet cord. So you don't have to run any other battery, separate battery, which is awesome. Yeah, and you run and you it runs in line. It's got a yep. plug that's uh, when you, so when you got, got your visor cord plugged in, the light goes on, and it's awesome. Yeah, so I'm sure. I'm definitely ordering two for both my helmets because they are yeah, awesome. For sure. I I thought you ordered one from him already. You know what? I didn't. I get, I, I, I didn't. See, I got the, I, and that I was did. the other thing. I I didn't even get a chance to use his his uh um uh, the the wheels I ordered the sharpening tools. Because I, literally, oh, yeah. I, st- I still had my stock carbides on up until before I went up to Cochrane. Then I threw on my old, really good ones that I took off my old yeah. assault. Because <laughs> they still and, had a lot of Je- bite in them. So. And, and yeah. Jesse Buckman, when you get in there to the biteharder.com page, throw a couple of those poly tune rings in the shopping cart. They're dirt cheap. And yeah. you, they'll, they'll change your XRSs. They'll make them ride yeah. like a Lynx. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it was... Uh, yeah. I've been running. I ran the poly tune rings on both sleds this winter. Oh, how did you it's, like uh, it? I, I, yeah. Oh, the, the, it's it's one of those things where, like, I don't know whether it's placebo effect, but mm-hmm. it's and and all kidding aside, is I felt like it made a bit of a difference. Yep. And it's something where if you're going to buy something from, if you've got an older sled, I wouldn't. I, yeah. I don't know whether they'd help you with an XRS. I was that was yeah. a joke. But if you've yeah. got an older sled that's a TNT or not an X package or or even an X package, it would probably help. Um, yeah. And mine's an X. And if you've got an older sled like that, then it's it, it felt like it made a difference, not night and day nice. difference. But it's something if you're on there buying a sharpening tool, throw them in your cart. They're like twenty bucks. You know what yeah. I mean? They're yeah. worth yeah. they're worth twenty bucks if you're not paying shipping for something else. 
you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. for sure. So yeah. Right on. But uh but I, yeah, I'm Corey gonna Brock gets some I'm gonna have to make a video next year because I didn't even get to use the tools because I didn't need them this year. I didn't put on enough yeah. lockers. I still have my original car yeah, bites on. Sure. So but they are amazing. Yeah. His stuff is awesome at Bite Harder. That's that's yeah. Stuff. Glenn's well, there you, and you know what, like, like as far as, as far as the show goes, I don't mean to pat ourselves on the back, but mm -hmm. uh, we've sold a shit ton of bite harder stuff. Uh, yep. Corey bought some nuclear motion, six communicators. Uh, yep. we've got, uh, tech Neil vest. Owen sent me pictures, <laughs> tech vests. We got Neil yep. Owen sent me pictures of his digit nine super clamp holders. Like yep. the, uh, um, you know what the, uh, on and on and on like it's 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 selling products you know what i mean like mm -hmm. manufacturers should realize that straight line performance i'm sure i bought clutch performance from the guy i'm sure other people were on there uh for it as well so yep. it, yeah it's like it's crazy but yep. we'll That's get good, it yeah yeah oh Corey, you drank the gary kool-aid <laughs> i don't think better. you can better. go wrong with any of them man yeah, I stopped on the way back into town there and thought I'd get a picture of the the sign coming into Cochrane. So yeah, that you have to, I think, when you're up there. That's the yeah, that's yeah, like the, sure. the famous selfie yeah. shot. So yeah. Yeah. And I I didn't rock my windshield again, even up in Cochrane again. So oh, go ahead. <laughs> I didn't no, have my windshield, your low on. windshield on there. I, no, there's nothing yeah. on it. That's the bikini yeah. that comes with it from the factory, yeah. which is basically nothing. <laughs> but, exactly. Uh, hey, sometime is now is in the house. Well, well, well. Oh, what's yeah. up, boys? He says. Good he's to been see cranking him. out videos. I've been I've been watching some of his stuff this. He's got some great weekend. videos, man, and he's been riding yeah. a lot too. So it was good. Yeah, he's always a good supporter. Yeah, I, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. J Jesse says he's taken over twenty picks at that sign. And then yeah. there you go. You've got a you've got an SRX, or is that just a regular winder? That's, right, that's the sidewinder. That was a 17. A, that was yeah. Josh's. And then his, uh, is that his dad's winder at the back? The orange one? It was, it was a brand new one. He had like 600 kilometers on it. Really nice. And there's mine nice. and Colt sleds behind your head. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you, yeah. you don't want to see those, right? Uh, so yeah, so I was just getting a group Holy, picture. Holy, that's a that. windshield Colt has on his, huh? That's yeah, a well, windshield. That, that's, that's, the, that's the same one as mine believe it or not. Is it really? He, but he's, he's got his all thing. black. It looks good. Now, what they've done this year, because I had a lower one on my 2020, but because the Matrix didn't come out this year in the mountain, so I ordered on my XCR the mountain low for next year. So it's half the size of that. So it's just a little bit of a windshield, but enough to give you some protection. Because now that the yeah. Matrix is out in the mountain sled, they're making the smaller, lower windshields for the mountain guys, and then you can put them on your, your trail sled. So. Nice, but, nice. It yeah. totally looks like a different machine, though. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, like it's yeah, hard to sure. see. I, I can see on my screen here better, but yeah, yeah. Uh, what what happened here? Okay, so we got back <laughs> to the hotel, and Colt and I were walking across to go to the trailer. You can't even see it really. It's it's really done in down on the bottom, and you see his gauge face it is, out it's over. Smashed. Right so we walked up, and it was sitting outside of this trailer. And there's the backside hood, and and we, we, we seen this guy sitting around, and we walked up. I said, "Oh man, was that yours? Like what happened?" He goes, "No." He goes, "But this piss ant passed me two times in the corner, driving like a jackass," <laughs> and I guess karma bit him in the ass. Oh so, my god! Yeah, he yeah. smoked into a tree. It looks like so because that whole front end was done and right into the bulkhead and. Well, you can see yeah. the gauge is facing off to the right, and yeah, it's so. it's a little messed up. Yeah, yeah. So I had to take a picture of that, right? <laughs> yeah, ride ride beyond your abilities, there, you know, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even in those big, wide sweeping trailers, uh, trails, man, you got to be careful. So. Yeah. Oh, Justin, we got finally someone else. Nice. He says. Very he nice. says, that "Here's like a, a brand picture of the last few." Yeah, yeah, for sure. He says, "Here's the." a few pictures of the last rides of the 2021 season. The first picture, he ended up saying goodbye to his 2018 Viper after 6,300 trouble-free miles. Lucky gal wanted an all black Viper. So I decided to switch things up. And now I snow checked a 2022 Polaris Indy 850 matrix VR one with the 137 skid. I just went and put my deposit down today. Super excited on the new sled. He gives two of those two double ears nice. and, uh, to devil horns sorry and he says had about 1900 miles on the trails this season last trip was to all train michigan rode over to the banded air force base that sounds cool and had some fun overall a great season and looking forward to my new sled 
If anyone has some suggestions for fine tuning it, let me know. Hashtag Brap Gang Wisco Sledheads. Yes, he's been in the chats. Oh yeah, right that must on. be the that must be the girl that bought it. Oh, where'd it go? Right there. Yeah. So right on. He's, he's put the tail light warranty on it for. As soon as she he can't see her tail lights, the warranty's off. So there we go. That must be what he spring checked. That looks good. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a nice color. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Just a little that bit of pop. Nice. There's a nice old XP. What are they hide? It's a couch. They got one of the couches oh, out of the yeah. in the snowbank. <laughs> Love it. And then look at the Canadian uh, hand wave there. She's given. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. The Canadian, the Canadian salute. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That's good, man. See, it's it. good to see a lot of people out this year, right? So yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Guys and girls. This one you can't really see, but Terry Tupas says it's a new bridge to Quebec. You can see oh, it nice. just in the distance there. Went down, checked out the bridge at Fitz, Fitzroy Harbor to Quebec. Thanks to everyone involved in getting this done. I saw what happened to my camera. I don't know. You're, you're off. I can, I can hear you. Hang on a second. What the? Oh, there we go. The cable was in there. I'm yeah. not, you can see me now, eh? Yeah, I go. can for sure. Perfect. Yeah, the bri the bridge is back in the haunting distance. It's actually a really good photo. That is yeah. wild. On you can on just screen, see the trusses, eh? yeah, yeah. Like you can. That's can cool. you see that? I. It looks. Yeah, it just looks barely. Just barely. Online. It looks yeah. cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Well, I fr I first thought it was that bridge in in uh, I don't know where it is in the Upper Peninsula. Um, I thought that's what it was, but there it is. Well, There's a difference the between halogen and and, uh, and LED or LED oh, yeah. and halogen right there. Night and day. Yeah. Did you yeah, see that one sure. famous covered bridge, Gary? I think it was in New York. Maybe someone can chime in here if some of our viewers from the U.S. A sled pulled over in there, and he broke down, and it caught the entire bridge on fire, and it was like a 150-year-old enclosed bridge. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I, maybe someone can chime in. It was somewhere down in the U.S., but it was kind of sad, oh, man. You know, I, I can imagine the locals were probably going to hunt that guy down with torches and pitchforks. You know, can you yeah. imagine? So, yeah, but yeah. no, that's cool. And I don't know whether I showed this picture last week or someone else had it. Um, I don't remember it. I, I, I recognize the power lines, but I meant yep. again, that's that's all. I love yeah. that iron dog, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's the second one there. The, the iron dog in the back, that's beautiful. Cool. Sled. Yeah, this is the picture I think we had last week, or someone sent in the exact mm -hmm. same shot. Yeah, now, this very is the, close. No, no, it's not. I was going to say that's that's the, uh, not the one around Algonquin Park because I don't recognize that. No, that's is that in Quebec or is it in the U.S.? Well, it's cool. It must be near Quebec because he was. Okay. He must be in that area because he was in. Right. He's in Fitzroy Harbor, Quebec. Yeah, the yeah. power the towers are different to so the ones in yeah. through, through the park, right? Yeah. And you don't yeah. have that view. Like you, that's no. obviously a lookout that they're sitting yeah. up in. So yeah, yeah. There, there. Look at that. Look at that Polaris there eh, with the blue and the lime green. So yeah, that's nice, nice colors. Yeah, I like sure. that yellow and red too. The do, that's a nice yeah. color. Uh, Mike, Mike uh, from Sled Addict says, "Where is that? This right no, it here was in Vermont. Mike, the fr the the bridge. Sorry, Gary, to interrupt you. That burnt down. It was in Vermont. Oh, was it Vermont? Yeah, yeah wow. it was really yeah. sad, man, because it was an old, old sure. covered bridge. Yeah, that is bad. So that's one where you don't say that your sled burn up that weekend. You just, uh, oh, I didn't hear that. You know, yeah." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a good shot yeah. there, too. Some nice shots. Yeah. Looks like they're doing some off-trail there in the side. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. Let's get some new pictures on here, shall we? But, I'm yeah, it's a, on, say, so. Oh, that's good. Rev's still in the uh, in the chat, so that's awesome, man. Yeah, for sure. Just we doesn't have him. his voice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. No. Not the same without you, it's, buddy, here. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. He usually he usually takes over and talks everyone's ears off and stuff right? all night. Huh? <laughs> right? Yeah. So did you? Uh, so I said to everybody, I said that when he said he couldn't make it tonight, I said, "Can we get Kim on his mom?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'd fill in. And I think Bobby's response was, "She'd tell you how pretty the sleds are." <laughs> yeah, she'd give us an input. And I said, "Oh, so it's like me then." Uh, G Money <laughs> says the bridge was 111 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, see, so, that's sad, man. That is sad. It is. But, uh, yeah, 
So I'm looking yeah, forward for to sure. his review of that uh, links that you got to ride. You both you got to ride. I'm really looking forward oh, yeah, for to, sure. to hearing about that. Yeah. So that it'll be neat to uh, it'll be neat to uh, to see after he owns it for a while. I think he's going to mm -hmm. love it. I mean, he loved his assault. I think so. You know, yep. so, for sure. I think and he will I think, too. I think he's one of the one of the few riders that's buying one that's actually going to ride it like it should be ridden. That's, See, that's and that, you, you hit the nail on the head, Gary. He's a guy that will use it to its potential, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Bobby's dad would have been great. Yes, he would have. Uh, yeah, he would have. Well, uh, we would have taken on, him as, yeah, as a pair, great. you know. Yeah. Well, we'll get to know them all next year when we get to ride finally together, right? So. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second here. We got and these guys sent in some this guy it's sled squad. He says uh yeah. this one is Rocket Lake in New York. Track tour on my 01 XCSP 800. The other picture is a logo I made up for my YouTube channel and the third picture of the 2011 Pro R 800 and 2006 Fusion 600 HO their sleds he picked up for his parents and he's got a fourth pitcher which is going to be a 2003 550 with the m10 skid he got for his wife something easy to learn on and the fifth pitcher is a 2018 xcr 800 right after he bought it, brought it home and the sixth and seventh pit holy cow we don't want your photo album six and seven <laughs> pitcher are he send you everything on the three that's hilarious and the 700 so yeah, but he knows where the super chat button is. You know, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if you're if you're sending in pictures and you want to bump, uh, if you want to bump um, sled squad, just super chat and we'll just move on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty cool little logo there. That's kind of neat. It's like uh, it's like he just went on the sled addicts channel, stole their logo, and put. Are sled you pulling squad them up here? Because I can't see anything here. Oh, I guess I got to hit that thing that says share the screen. <laughs> I can't see him. So you might have to start over see? if you've been flipping them through. I thought you were, I thought you no, were in the I midst have, of pulling I, them off, but yeah. So no, no, we've only, I've only done two. Perfect. So we got oh, this yes. one here. I, I can't remember what it was, but there's a couple of Polaris's there. Oh yeah. I don't know. Old cats at all. A yeah. Old cats. Here, let, let me see how to make that. The, the hero that looks shot. like an 800 XC, I believe that blue one. Yeah. I got Don Dwyer looking at getting the 2022 Renegade XRS 850 and was wondering what would be better, the Ice Ripper 1.25 or 1.5. I mostly ride on trails. That's really, you know, I've heard people, I got friends that have the Ice Ripper and love them, and then I got other guys that say they can't stand them. So I think it's a personal what's preference, it? right? What's so, it on? Uh, he's he's looking at getting snow checking a 2022 Renegade oh. XRS 850. So, yeah. I, I Mike K had the 850. He had with the, the 850 ripper. with the ice ripper to start with, said he loved it. He, I didn't ever see him blow off anything. And then he bought the the next one he spring checked, had uh, had studs, and he goes, I won't go back to an ice ripper. So there you go. Okay. It's not so much the traction, it's a stopping. It's yeah, it's see, the that's breaking. the thing in an icy hey. corner. But I don't, look at Rev Rider, look at him giving us some I love. Know. That was awesome Dude. of you, buddy. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta I gotta put that up on screen and we're gonna give him the the, the mountain so madman. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Cheers, Bobby. buddy. That's awesome. Cheers, Bobby. Yeah, cheers. That's awesome. Yeah. Hopefully you're feeling better. So, so and then there he, it is. He's he's sled addicts is on the phone with their lawyer right now for stealing. <laughs> Jesse said, don't get the ice ripper, get the ripsaw 1.25 for trail. Nothing and better. Stud it. It. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. But I got, sure. I got, I got, uh, uh, my buddy, Steve rides his players. He swears by them. So, you know, I got to respect his, his, he, he likes them. So, and I've heard a couple of the people said the same thing that I asked them. So I've never owned one, so I can't comment to be honest with you. But it it really, it guys. really depends on how, how aggressive of a rider you are. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, if you, if you ride like I do, I couldn't do the, on my 800 e tech renegade i couldn't do an ice ripper it sucked or sorry yeah the ice ripper i actually yeah. added studs to it um yeah i i'm a stud guy through and through and and yes and everyone goes oh you throw it through the heat exchanger well don't keep it for six thousand seven thousand kilometers swap the track out yeah. you know what i yeah. mean it's so much yeah. better you know mark bo says so, ice ripper is okay but stopping is not as sharp as studs which i also heard not at all 
So oh, I had the 1.35. Ah, 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 oh, I'll just probably blow it on beer. <laughs> he won't save. So I had the 1.35 on mine with studs on both my assaults, and they were amazing. I wouldn't. Uh, that's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, Sled Squad. What else did he send here? These are nice old Polaris. He's got uh, pictures of. Was that an 800 XC? I think I saw the blue one. Or that's uh, hard to Where's see. Where's that? In 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 the first yeah, picture. In oh, you, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Look at that. That looks like a fusion. It is. Boat anchor is of the it? year, what right there. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. That old the fusion. The boat eh? anchor. <laughs> boat anchor. Hey, so those. That's the picture he said that. Uh, that that's when he first brought them home. Which one did he trade his wife for? He said he traded his wife for one of these sleds. Is it this one? It's probably this one here. Yeah, the 550. He said he traded his wife for it. Ah, he did pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Um, and then he's got the axis. Yeah. There we go. XCR 800. Nice. That was the first year they came back out with the XCRs at Nod. Yeah, I like that edge, that X with the big X on It's nice. Yeah, yeah. What else we got here? Got lots. I think this is his son. Oh, yeah, it is. His son's kid. Old Skidoo legend. Love it. Yeah, that is nice. 380 fan. Indestructible. Oh, yeah, and then the 370. I, I wonder what if he's in the chat. Which one's faster? Did you guys drag race those? This is the Throw the legend cap. in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder if he raced them. That was That's another good sled. I, when I was looking yeah. for one from for Drew, I was looking at both back in the day. So we found a really – we got our uh, – we got our uh, – uh, what is it? Our our touring E for six hundred bucks. So I couldn't complain. Yeah, they were good sleds. Eh? Oh, I think they were. It was it was uh, needed the clutch freed up on it. It was seized, but the uh, it was rideable and drivable. And then I fixed the clutch on it. And oh, look at the fifty edition back there. That's great. Oh, yeah. This is from. Um, oh yeah, you got us to the right from, there. Yeah. This is from Shag Boys. Oh, is it? Oh, it is too. Yeah, because yeah, there's Zook and that's Zook. Oh, so yeah. who's uh, that? Shag there. That? I, don't, I haven't seen that video yet. Maybe they haven't got it up yet. But because I know Dude, they were. That's awesome. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know there was many of them in the U.S. There you go. It's. Uh, I was just saying we're driving home, and I should have put the picture up on. Uh, on uh, maybe I can text it to myself. We're driving home, and there's one in the back of a pickup truck booting down the road. And I'm thinking. They uh, like there's got to be a thousand of these made, and then and then uh, Obi says it's just because you 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 know what you see it like so when you when you see something you always see it right yeah and it, I said yeah it's a pheno it's actually a, a term called the Batter Meinhof phenomenon oh, and yeah? it uh, it it's the it's frequency illusion is what it's called and yeah it's actually, let me so I can put that up there um at the it's batter Meinhof phenomenon. It's it's a frequency illusion. So if you have something like like your Polaris assault, you're gonna see like a thousand Polaris assaults on the trail. And if you uh if you um here, look at that. See that in the that back of the oh, yeah, in the back, yeah. Isn't that wild? Going down the yeah. four hundred, it's like there's only a thousand of these made, man. Like, how can we see so many of them? We see one pretty much almost every time we ride but yeah that's that's awesome so yeah, yeah that is awesome cool. good to see well, I, now i'm gonna that's have to good, look for man. that video Sh that Shag, sled looks like to be in mint. that 50th anniversary looks to be in mint hey because that's zook sled are. off to the left and that, and that shag's right beside the 50th isn't it i'm thinking i'm trying to look uh that that's zook's new one just oh that's zook so that shag's at the back there then i think right yeah. here yeah right on right on that's probably I don't know. That that's Shag's wife. That's his six hundred. Oh, is it? That's okay. his wife's sled. Yeah, Shag Shag's must be off screen. Off but screen, that's yeah. cool. Love that. 
So what's he say on this? He didn't he didn't send me a script, but uh, it just says photo resized JPEG. Daniel Ray, Ray Daniel Raymaker says, "Hey, sled heads, it's Polaris Dan. Highly considering to use SR Viper next year. Check out a ton of videos on that machine. 2016 to 2017 was impressed with the performance of it. If anyone in the show can give me an inside scoop of how they are or how they like Vipers, if I could afford a brand new sled, it would probably be the new XCR 650. My prayers go out to Rev Rider." Gary and Rich, keep up the awesome job on the show. I really enjoy it. Polaris Dan. He gives us a fist punch. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> again for getting my classic sled on the show last week. That's just a thank you, man, and shout out. We'll take those tonight, dude. Shag Anything did drive this. The conversation going. Sorry about to interrupt you there. Shag did ride Go the ahead. 600 because he thought there was no snow. <laughs> oh, he's one of those awesome. guys. Take, <laughs> you got to take a good sled out. Yeah, so Jess, Jess Shag, took his dad's XC. Is... When, we went up, when we went up to Sudbury, Jess took his dad's XC850 out because he didn't want to put the kilometers on his due. <laughs> that that's funny. funny. Yeah. Bob, Bobby Bell. Oh, that's nice. He's in there deep. Look eh? at that. Is, yeah. Look at that uh, that land formation in the distance there. It's pretty crazy. See that right here? Yeah. That looks like it looks like freaking Tober Mori or whatever. Oh, look at that. It's tips up Monday here, I guess. Look at this shot. I think he sent us pictures in the beginning, and he just he's always stuck in doing wheelies if it's the same same cat. Right on. Does he send it? He doesn't send a, a script either. They got too excited. Jason LaPointe says, great ride from Dundalk to Owen Sound. JB Well repair on the trail. Second pick in the heater this year going on for Adam. For a new track. Yeah. So you don't keep your stud tracks long. Keep up the great you guys rock. He right says. On. Yeah, like that's the thing. If you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And as soon as you start to see them loosening off or you lose the washer, time to swap the track out or pull the studs and put new ones in. That's kind of a yeah. grainy, grainy picture, but you get the gist of it. Oh yeah. Oh, you can see the green on the uh on the uh yeah, the, the snow there, the, the puke. Yeah. <laughs> That's never a good the heat line. exchanger puke. Yep, nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I bet he wasn't. He wasn't all too impressed, right? No. Oh, geez, this is what he's talking about—the truck being stuck. I see. see that a lot this year. Vehicles on the trail. I don't know whether it's just more people catching it on social media or, yeah, or what know, the deal man. is. It's just stupidity, man. Like you can't. It's sit GPS, there and look man. Yeah, yeah, I know, but look at the sign right in front of his vehicle, Gary, in the orange. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> telling you, I know. you know, like you know, not a through road, like right? well, yeah. yeah, not maintained by municipality. Oh, it's okay. Right. I'll just keep going then. Hey, Two wheel sled drive. Let's go ahead, send in five bucks, Gary. Oh, did he? Hold on. Yep. You gotta get the sound effect here. Thanks so much, man. That's awesome. Here, I gotta get that on screen too. Just wait a second here. Thanks so much, guys. That's awesome. Sharing the love. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, where were we? Well, you are? Yeah, so then we got that picture there. And Tony Katz, his last ride of the season. Whoa, look at this one. It's my new, it's my new Tinder profile picture right there. <laughs> Beautiful shot, Tony Cat. That's awesome. What else we got here? Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know how I did that. Um, doing the, We're sharing the pictures the old-fashioned way. Look at that shot, too. That's a great one. Jesse says he told the FedEx driver. What did he say there? Jesse says he told the FedEx driver, all he says, look, look for the red OFSC sign. If he does, it's a trail. If not, it isn't. Every single trail intersection across maintained road is signed. 
<laughs> yeah, there you and go. Then Cody said, Don't forget to look at the for my phone next time you're up, Gary. I'm gonna <laughs> find those lost pictures are gonna be worth a fortune. Yeah, Odie was our photographer, took a bunch of photos and videos when we were putting the inaugural ditch sign up and and the uh and didn't I lose him, you know? Yeah. Didn't he lose his phone? I mean. So that's a nice looking sled. That's cool, eh? No, it's Tony, like he's got that's Tony Cat. Oh, nice. It, oh, it is too. Cat. I recognize his helmet and his uh, coat. That's awesome, Tony. That's wicked yeah. looking. Yeah, for sure. Like the purple ski. It that's is. I told him that's on. my, I, I said that's my new Tinder profile picture there. <laughs> Tinder <You know>? profile <laughs> picture. <laughs> that's awesome. There we go. Nice little 600R there. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. In the, in red. I love that. Yeah. That's a big There we go. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, it yeah, pops nice off. Looking. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Love that. Who we got? This is slow B. No, How there he is. Oh, maybe. So yes. is is this this is his review? Somehow I is it? This is it. I've, Hold on a second here. I knew that right away when I saw him there. Wait a second here. I got to read. He sent me some script. I don't know how I got off a of Tony Cat and on a slow bee. Hold on a <laughs> second here. This is really this is really amateur hour. Where'd my uh, there it is? Okay, let's find out what slow bee saying. Hopefully, I got all of Tony Cat's pictures in here. Let me see here. That was Tony Cat's last ride. So that was all he sent. And then. And then Sloby says, I'm not sure what order they're in. The red 2021 600R E-Tech MXZX. My buddy decided he wanted to make a video. We got lucky, and the groomer went out and made a great thumbnail. Uh, the group of sleds trail side is on the hill. That space is for your sound effects. Wait a minute. You didn't say the hug. Get the hill going. Let's hear on it. The hey. My buddy Gord's yeah. in the house. Is he right on? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So here, let's let's get this down here. There we go. Lots of snow. Beautiful sled there. Yeah. And uh, we stopped at a covered bridge for a small break. Yeah. You know what? Slow B would take me to the tug. I'm sure of it. He would take me to the tug hill next year. <laughs> Corey and I'll come down and see yeah. you there, Slow B. Look at him there. Sexy bugger. Uh, yeah. He said uh, the, this was uh, our last ride of the season. It was pretty bumpy up there in the weekend. One of the pictures is 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 new under the cover bridge. One of the photos is at camp getting ready for the day. It was a great season, guys. We ended this ride with a huge family dinner, steak, potatoes, and shrimps. Nice. Good Lord. Nice. That guy knows how to party. I'm telling yeah. you. Nah, that's awesome. He does. He, he he's living the dream, man. Hey, Gary, that's they Gord who sent you uh, sent you uh, some uh, what do you call it? There, remember I was, when I was asking you? He was sending in because he said he couldn't do it on the show. He sent you in a bit of love there a couple of months ago. That's my buddy Gord. Oh yeah, right on. Well, thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. that right was on. Gord. <laughs> that's your buddy Gord. Yep. yep. <laughs> there you go, Gord. That's for you, buddy. Yeah, he's on Kawagama with Steve. Down there, uh, Stephen Rick and that. Yeah, so, sweet. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I got to Dorset. Uh, we got to Dorset a couple times. Yeah. And then we. Ended oh, up, Gary, we you know to... what? But I got to show you this duckle. You're gonna. It's hilarious. It was on the one of the warm up shelters. I, I'm gonna send it to. You want me to email it or text yeah, it? Sure. To you? Uh, text it to me. It's just as good tonight. But okay, wait till you see this, Gary. You're gonna laugh your ass off, and okay. you got to share I it with everybody. Wait. Here. Wait, wait till you I see will. the name of this snowmobile club. You're going to laugh your ass off. Oh, oh that's man. cool. There's yeah. another Sloby picture. Oh, right on. Sorry, Sloby. Didn't mean to interrupt your. No, uh, it's okay. Here. You just stomp on Sloby's parade, you know. <laughs> hey, congrats on 1,000 again, too, buddy. That's awesome. You worked yeah, hard that for is it, good. dude. Hey, can I share it's a sign that, that I won on his on his uh, Instagram, Gary, that he made? Sloby? Who, Sloby? Hey. Yeah, I get, want it. Get out of yeah, here. Hang on, hang on. Look at right, sit right here, man. I oh, it's in my office. You ass. I didn't mean nothing on his Instagram. Take a look at this. I look guess at I that. gotta I guess I gotta hold on. I I can't see you. you covered holy shit. Hold yeah, on, let me make it. Beautiful. It's shellac, it's wood sign. 
Shellacked. You got yeah, shellacked. Look at Sloby is what you're saying. Hold on. <laughs> look though. I get you look big. how beautiful that is, man. That's a wood sign. Just wait. I gotta get you big. Hold on. All right. Here we're gonna do this. And I'll try to do it where it's ah, not crap. Too. There it is. Yep. How nice is that, man? Can he okay. ship that to you? Yes, he did. It must have cost him a oh. fortune. And he said that. He goes, man, I can't. <laughs> it's because when you win stuff, he goes, it costs a fortune. But what a great guy, man. Yeah. I'd love so one of those for my the, cottage. Exactly. So he did a random uh, draw, and I won it. And I'm, I've been meaning to put bring it up the show, but it's been in, in, in my office uh, all the time since I won it. So, yeah. You awesome could actually, Thanks you, again, know, you could actually screw, <laughs> Rich. Just screw some right up. Look up. Look up. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me now. Look up. Yeah. Look, look straight up. Where right are you, now. buddy? Look Where are you? Because right I can't see you. No, you. <laughs> look you straight you up, look yeah. straight up. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. Now, now put some eye hooks in the ceiling there, and and chains, <laughs> and hang it right yeah, there. Hang it there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what hanging be, over there. So it can be on the show. Long. Yeah. These are ten foot. Yeah. That would be hilarious, man. That would be hilarious. But anyways, what an what an awesome sign though, man. So Buddy Sloby, not only is he handsome, he's talented too. Yeah. I'm right? telling you. Yeah. There we go. I felt bad, man, because it must right. the shipping must have cost him a fortune. The thing weighs a ton and it's a great yeah. quality sign. So yeah. It, oh, no kidding, right? So how do you actually claim that in customs? What is it? Uh, that's a hunk of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to pay anything, so it was it was awesome, man. But that no, it was awesome. It's, a, it's, a, it's a sample. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right. Is this sold? No, it's a sample. You're gonna have yeah. like uh, you're gonna have like the you know the forestry and natural resources coming after you for smuggling wood out of the U.S. <laughs> does it? Does it? Have, what is it? That Asian horn long beetle. <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah you're laughing yeah. now rich but wait till your forest around your home is destroyed from the i'm gonna get arrested <laughs> thing in the spring <laughs> oh man that's too funny yeah i love it oh, that's great yeah thanks for thinking of me slow b geez you know okay off the slow b now Corey brock <laughs> he's actually super chatted so she got hit him first uh, oh, yeah. where did it go but uh yeah that's great no Fine, I don't want one. Uh, Corey Brock says, "Here's he, he, hey, Gary, here's a pics from my last ride two weeks ago when you didn't come with us to ride, you loser. <laughs> no, Who's he this? didn't say that. I did. <laughs> this is Corey. He said, uh, okay. he stayed at the Hush Lodge, even though you're supposed to stay near my cottage. We're a group from Hillsburg Snow Riders, Snow Roamers Club in Southern Ontario. Yeah, the Hills, Hillsburg Snow Roamers Club in Southern Ontario. Trails were 9 out of 10 for pretty much just shy of 900 kilometers for the weekend. That's about 600 miles. And uh, the last pick, the one kid decided to hit a pole and rode off his 2016 XRS. Love the show, but can't wait for boating season. Don't oh. say that word, boat, on yeah. here. Yeah, yeah wait till you see these pictures. I've I've kind of seen these before, but wait till you see these. It's they're bad. Crazy. Uh no, it actually does it it's it was actually worse than what it looks. Can you see that there, Rich? Uh yeah, I can see that, can but see where's that? the rex? Okay, perfect. No, 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 the rex's not on that one. It's coming oh, up. Okay, so you're just doing the, the image. Yeah, no, it looks great. Yeah, that's a good yeah. size, bud. That's Corey, that's, that's Corey's XRS in the front, and he's got All a right new on. one on order. Oh, fall. did he? What did he do? Oh, wow. So he's, he's doing the same sled with the with the smart shocks. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is is a sled I'm looking forward to, man. Yeah, and I rode cool. the R Motion X uh, 850, and uh, and like I said, I can't do a review on it because my camera was was on the wrong setting. You can see in that last video I put up where I was on it, you can't see anything. So, but man, that thing's like a when they say on rails, it's on rails, man. Yeah. It's right insane. On. Right on. Those what color nice did you go with? Trails. Did they give much, many options on the on the skidoos? Like, what, what colors did they offer for this year? I never even asked yeah. anyone. Are they always just the yellow <laughs> or black? Be, no, they 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 got all that uh, that pastel color this year, like the rust and the. Um, okay. But he he went all black. He's a black guy, right? Yeah. Like yeah, he's, he's like me. Yeah. You know, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, right on. You know that'll be nice. That's a great shot of the trails. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't and I'm sure wrong with get, that. Like with that color, like Steve, my buddy Steve's snow check the XCR with uh, all black with red rails and red um, spindles, which will look cool too. Yeah, so, well, similar to Corey's the, there. Um, there's, right? yeah. there's his XRS there, so yeah. he yeah. did the, the red, red belly pan. 
yep. and he's put the bar pad on black. He blacked out the hand guards, and then I did the custom. We changed the graphics oh, up yeah, on the side here. That. The, that looks cool. and on the tongue. That is a nice color. And on the tongue too. So it's yeah. very unique. I mean, That's awesome. oh, he took his red. He has a red uh, lava red uh, windscreen too, but it's gone. Okay. Yeah. So he's running the bikini like I was there. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not a windshield guy, man. He doesn't. Yeah. yeah. I think if he rides so hard, if there was a windshield on it, it would be blown off. Yeah. Put it that way. Yeah. So no, he's awesome. Right on. Uh, here, hold on a second. Here. It's fun playing with him in the trails. It's great yeah. watching him in action. Um. When will it stink? That's what I'll do. I'll throw the 50 edition out on the lake and then let you guys all throw me a hundred bucks and put your bets in. That'll be my sled fund. Yeah. Awesome. I wonder cool. what club that was. That's a pretty good fundraiser. That's nice too. So did you say where this was, Gary? And I just wasn't listening. Where was yeah, this? This is Barry's Bay area, right? Okay, you, Barry's you Bay. You might yeah. know that area. Yeah. Oh, I love Barry's yeah, Bay. I went up know. there with Steve last year. It's a wicked, wicked uh, trail system yeah. up that way. Beautiful. Here, Corey might keep your eye on it. He might he might comment on some of these pictures too. Okay. He's in the chat, so right on. Because um, I can't see the chat the whole time because it blocks it off. But another good picture. That's his buddy's uh, XRS there on the right. With the with the white belly plant pan and this and the, uh, the oh those are cool he put white skis with the white that's kind of cool I've, yeah, I've never well, seen that yeah, option those are, yeah C and A's he's got on there okay but uh, and then he's ordered a, Mike's ordered a spring ordered a a, a summit from Energy Power Sports right on yeah, so, oh I put, uh, put it in the wrong thing here's the X here's the uh, 2016 with the oh oh with the bent front end bent yeah, front end that's so demoed wow. yeah he he uh he bailed off and uh i don't know whether he had a tether cord on i don't think he did and the the uh the sled went straight down the trail and there's one hydro pole in the middle of the trail and he hit it the sled hit it the kid was off of it but uh he wow. showed pictures of that last week so um yeah it's uh it's sad but you know, the kid saved up all his money, and bought that sled for like ninety four hundred bucks with his own money. Yeah, jeez. So insurance came through, though he said. So that sucks, though, man. Right? Like you know, it does. But I hear totally. You. Yeah. Well, he was riding beyond his abilities. He's trying to keep up with my my yep. man Corey. So look how nice yeah. that thing is. He put yeah. about 60, 60 miles on it and saw one hundred and fifteen mile per hour on the Dremo meter. And he had to let off. That's a yeah. 2008 Apex. Jeez. Ooh. He's obviously had a tune in there, nice. right? Four stroke. They, the Apex, were they turbo or was that just the 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 RX1 tons? That was the RX1 tons. I'm pretty sure. Someone correct me there. Yeah. Yeah, because that's got the Olin RX1 shock on it. Turbo. I don't the think Olin the shock, Apex yeah. was turbo. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was just they, a four stroke. Yeah. yeah. But that's not to but say there's. Turkey. No, uh, no, th no thing for it, but yeah, those are weird. No, that's true. Jump man J, he's there. Go. I'm gonna miss these guys. Like, these are there's yeah, some no regulars way. on this on this podcast that that uh, Jump man J says got out and found some nice power to play in before it's gone this week. This is overlooking Lake Temis Coming, just a great area with some amazing riding to experience. On trail or off trail, always some fun out here. And I finally got the wife out short for a short 200 kilometer ride. She said her arms were tired and sore from hanging off the back. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll laugh my ass off. She still loves me though. <laughs> Thanks for being consistent, always full of positive vibes. You guys are amazing. And I'm happy to be here tuning in. Cheers. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you gotta that's jump, cool. man. Jay, you gotta get your you gotta get your wife a, a sled. For yeah. sure. She's, yeah, she's for ready sure. to graduate, get her own rig. Yeah. That's nice. I wonder what he's going to do next year. He was just flipping back and forth, right? <laughs> Jump man, what are you doing? Are you doing something? Because I know you did say you were going to snow check, but he wasn't too sure. Was he? Wasn't he saying in, he got an XCR on order, red, white, and blue? Was that Jumpman Jay? Oh, did he? Did he, yeah, did he say that? Someone man. else. 
Scroll up on my side, man, and look up. Someone yeah, yeah. did. Well, that was way his wife. Look at that. He said Enjoy next year. So yes. Jumpman says next year. Nice. Mm. There's his there wife. Just He's just chilling out. That's a nice looking salt. Yeah. I love the black and lime. That's nice. It is. That's cool. Yeah. Look at his helmet. His 509 helmet matches. Nice. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I got my 509 gear on right now. This is a 509 hoodie. I got a hat. I got the base layers. Gary, you like the, the coat. Eh? You got a nice coat. Oh, dude, I love that coat, man. Yeah, yeah this, this hoodie it. is really nice. Take a look at that. You got 509 yeah, on the side. I got to lose weight, though. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a great hoodie. I got, the, yeah. I got all black with the with the shiny black zipper hoodie. And oh, nice. it's got a piston. The piston is a zipper pull. Oh, cool. It's a nice. It's freaking yeah, cool. Like, really and I didn't even hoodie. notice it. I didn't even <laughs> notice the, the piston zipper pull until, like, I don't know, probably wore it three or four times. And it was like, I was in the, I was in the bathroom and I was like, Oh, what's that? It's a longer dongle. And it was like, <laughs> it's, it's a like, piston. Oh my How God, cool is that? Piston. I did see that awesome. post on your, uh, on your Instagram. Yeah. I put it on my Instagram. So yeah. I yeah. got the one flex hat and then I got the, uh, COVID kills, uh, or two stroke kills COVID. Uh, <laughs> I got that COVID, yeah. I'll be rocking they're, they're under, uh, their base layer stuff is awesome. I didn't get yeah, that. Yeah, and see, I, I ordered a bunch of I ordered a bunch of stuff when you guys did too. And it was like, I thought I ordered base layers and then nothing showed up. Yeah. And I didn't think of it because I got the jack that I was pretty excited about. And and I bought some motocross stuff. Like I bought a motocross jersey that's windproof for the spring and nice. gloves. And it's right like on. and then it's like, I, I thought I ordered base layers. And I went up, Drew and I went to the cottage and I was like putting on my stretched out ones and I was going like why didn't I order base layers? This sucks. And it's like, and then I get a shipping thing saying your base layers have shipped. And it's like, I did. I'm not going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my hat, wait. my hat, this, this hoodie, um, the COVID uh, t-shirt and my Kills. socks. Yeah. I got those, those supposed to be really amazing socks, but I'll have to wait until next year came. And then all my That's base awesome. layer stuff came with it. I got a base layer hoodie which has got a built-in balaclava. It's a hoodie, but it's a balaclava. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Get out of here. That's awesome. Yeah, the quality of the stuff looks good, but no, I'll find out when we use them next year. It'll be yeah. good. So, so this is Rob Boys. He said it's a sledhead group picks from Quebec trip last year. Nice. Yeah, I, I was talking to Neil Owen. I got to get to Quebec too. That's. Uh, yeah, next that's year, Gary, you gotta awesome. we gotta do something for sure. Yeah, Neil's the guy though. Eh? He's he's the he's kind of an ambassador for Quebec riding. Oh. Is he the guy that was saying you would help out with trips if we if we hooked up with uh, yeah, the guys from the U.S.? Oh, right on, right yeah, on. Absolutely. So which he's, one is he in this photo? Does he say? He, no, he's not in this. This is this is Neil. Neil didn't send any pictures. Oh, he's, okay, sorry. My Neil's, bad. Neil's the he's in the chat. Neil in the chat. He's a he's yeah, the right president on. of the Blue Mountain Snow uh, Drifters oh, Snowmobile right Club. Cool. Neil is. Yeah. Cool. This is this is the sled heads. But isn't that a great picture, eh? And that's Quebec. Right on. But uh, yeah, so we're good there. Daniel Raymaker says for Polaris Dan uh, in Algoma, the product I use is Glare Products. I don't know what that is. It must be a polish on this helmet, maybe. Oh, maybe, eh? Yeah. Oh, XLT helmet, super high gloss polish I use on all my stuff. What's oh, it called? Okay, it's right called on. XLT Glare Products. Oh, glare product, right? They now. said it's his XLT helmet, so that's like that thing's like new. Love it. I need that to put on my bald head most days. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpman Jay says this is the train bridge crossing over the Montreal River up in Elk Lake, Ontario. Oh, this is dude, this is cool. Hold on. And a few shots of my wife and I, she's even rocking the 509 gear. Well, we'd love nice. to hear that. That's awesome. David McKinney, he's been on the show lots. I'll see if he'll come on next week. He's a big 509 guy, and he'll oh, yeah. he'd appreciate that. Now, that looks like fun. You got all the gear in your sleds. Yeah, that. You're camping. That would be cool. That's freaking yeah. cool. Nice. What else we got here? He sent us a few, so. Oh, yeah, there we go. She's got the nice. sinister goggles, too. Oh no way! That oh, is cool. Yeah. What's that's yeah. is that a five hundred nine coat he's wearing? I think he's got the five hundred nine one piece. 
I th- oh no, he's got the Tubi one piece, I think. He I was going to say that looks like Tubi that because that's their logo, that triangle logo. I believe that's a Tubi. Yeah. With the 509 helmet. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. If I recall, uh, Jumpman Jay moved from out west to uh, to Ontario, but he's making every every bit of it here, man. Nice. There nice we go. There's that assault. Great photos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, Rob Overholt, he sent me some pictures from Huntsville. Oh, nice. In the back of the in the back of the trail, boss. <laughs> what happened here? Hold on. Right on. Good thing I don't have anything. Uh, any questionable content up there. There you go. Nice XP MXZX. That's not, that's just an MXZ. That's a sport. I like the orange on it though. That's kind of oh. cool. Yeah. Neil said he'll help us out planning trips next year. Thanks, Neil. That'd be great. Of course he will. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure stuff out. Yeah. I get to ride Neil's sled though the whole time. His links. <laughs> he's got, yeah. he's got links on order. For energypowersports.ca. Right. Yeah. The old Polish That's tunnel. Cool. There's an old Polish an old XCR. boy, an XCR. Old triple. Yeah. It's funny. We saw a couple when we were leaving on Sunday to leave Sunday morning, and they pulled up in a pickup truck, and they had a 2000 and 2002 SRX 700 triple. The old guy, uh, guys. Oh, sweet. And that, yeah, but Gary, the trail for like, I'm going to say 20, 30 kilometers outside of Cochran was beat. Like, I mean, beat. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you're going to really test your, your, uh, your back when you get on, get out on those, man. Well, you know, you, you did appreciate that in your video. Could you've done, could you've done washout beat trails, Gary, for 30 kilometers in that? No, but, but, no. uh, but Odie did. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. and I got to hand it to you, man. That guy freaking rides it without a complaint. He has, that guy has yeah. the most fun of anybody awesome. riding, and it's like, yeah, he's getting a new sled next year too, or a newer one, and yep. Uh, yep. we are going to have so much fun, man. Like, oh yeah, the guy sure. put four thousand k on that sled, Rich. He did. He out- doesn't did own you. a thing. Yeah, it doesn't own a thing, man. That's amazing. Uh, and you know what? Back in the day, I think we used to ride like that, <laughs> like we did, right? And you yeah. did it. You got through it for sure. You hurt a little bit the next day. Yeah, you, you did it. Daniel Raymaker, here's my. F- <laughs> he says. Here's my fat ass. <laughs> What's he saying? Here's my fat oh, yeah, ass on the sled I sent you last week. This is in the drop and ride park and walk lot in Lakewood, Wisconsin. Nice. There you go. Awesome. Big thumbs up. He's not that fat. Come on. Oh, man. XC6 don't be, don't be hard beautiful. on yourself. That is nice. Yeah, yeah, they were nice sleds, man. Holy goodness. Who's this? Hey, hey guys, love the show. Just wanted to share a couple of picks that I'm proud of. First is a pick from a trip when I went on Snow Track TV crew and players. Look at this shot. I knew it had to be professional. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to get this up here. Look at that. Oh, nice. So, uh, isn't that Jesus, great? Like a professional what? shot. Who's that? It is. He, he was with the freaking Snow Track track crew and players oh. to try out and film. The 2019 players 850 in the XC platform. Those guys were so down to earth. And what what's this fat ass doing up there again? <laughs> Hold on. Jesus. Where did he go? There he goes. But, yeah, you'll find it. You're there, back up there again. Those guys are so down to earth and fun. The second pick is a day at home putting around this year with my two-year-old boy who loves sledding as much as I do. Here's to the future of the sport. Oh, this is a great picture, too. Um, Jumpman Jay's girlfriend's getting some screen time tonight, isn't she? She's gonna be a star. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 509 will sponsor her. She keeps going like that. Look at this shot and the dog barking at them. Love it, right on. And he's got he's rocking the Larry and Tyser snow pants. Yeah, right on. <laughs> That's great. And the kids even got a 509 helmet. That is cool. Love it. Yeah. And Dominator 286. Hey, Gary, yesterday I commented on your latest video that when you jump on my 2001 Formula Deluxe 700, I wonder why my feet are so close to my hands. I'm so used to riding the 2017 Gen 4 now. I bought this sled brand new on a spring check and rode it for many years. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
Odie's is worse though because his handbars are tilted down because the guy that had it before him put hand guards on it. And in order oh, yeah? to clear the spot on the mirrors, the guy tilted the bars way down so that they they uh hand guard don't hit when you're turning. And I was like, yep. I told Odie last year to rip those hand guards off and tilt the handlebars back up and even put a block underneath them. It would change that old sled the way it rides. And uh no, it's just my my hands were on my you could rest your wrist on my knees it's pretty crazy so yeah yeah so that's great yeah i did get that comment i think i i think i um responded back and we got zook here's the pick of the zook rs nice on here oh there we go that's beautiful nice year man yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that'll be night and day from the old the old Blair Morgan he had for sure. Yeah. Gary, you can come ride the hold on. Hill with me. I'll have a sign, lots of beer waiting for you. Just let me know. Slow be. Ah, that's a good idea. I'll just bring I'll just smuggle the sign home in my luggage let's do that so <laughs> yeah nice. for sure oh here's a picture here i want I, i'll just leave it up here oh where did it go that xrs is nice i like those it is it's a good year that for is, it yeah is it well, that's, it Sooks, right? that's Sooks, yeah yeah that's Sooks. yeah we're, we're, <laughs> here's here's your buddy here rich <laughs> Jesse the belt man. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? How old is that? Yeah, he has shit luck with belts, man. Split. He has bad luck. a good luck one with of belts. me and Jess up in Cochrane a few years ago. I think this is Jesse's second belt that day. Oh, oh that was the God. one that he would, he would just eat belts. I remember him. He was telling me that when we were away. That it wow. well, then he hit a, then he hit a rock with it too. Like he had a rock jammed in the <laughs> tunnel and got stuck and that was the Cochrane trip, I think, from hell for yeah. poor old Jesse. Yeah. He was going I, I can't remember a little I'm not kidding you. He spent over a thousand dollars in belts. I, if this was the sled that he was talking about. Can you imagine? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Wow. The he um went back to do that's and different. that's the thing, belts were cheap back then when they first came out with that eight fifty. Yeah, it was not like anymore, are they? They soak yeah. Yeah. This is a new I've never seen this name, Dylan Somo before. He's no. a, a new – so thanks for tuning in, Bill, and this is awesome. He's repping the 509 sticker there. That's cool. He sent me another one. He's a ZR6000. This is a cool shot. It looks like he's in. The, he's pretty high up. That's the Upper Peninsula, I believe. This is the bridge. Somebody sent a shot in from there uh, a week or so ago. Look Isn't that funny? Wow. You start recognizing territory that's not even in yeah, your area. Yeah, we've been used. Yeah, yeah, because we you find out yeah. from other pictures. Eh? That is wicked, though. Totally recognize that that shot. Uh, Daniel Raymaker said that that fat ass on the sled he sent you last week. Uh, hey, Gary, I demoed that Apex. It was the anniversary model, and it's inline four hundred and sixty. Horsepower, no turbo, is what he said on that sled that we had up there. Nice. And then Jake Jacob Masser, 2018 XRS 850. Hey, Corey, nice. wait till you see this sled. Doesn't Gary from uh, Gary, Pasty Boy's buddy Gary have that sled? Yeah, very similar. It's, it's money, color, money well wasted on it. Money well wasted. That's all. Yeah, and that night, it's and true. Eh? Remember, Gary, we, remember when we went riding that one day, and I said you, you you question yourself sometimes while you do this sport, and then all of a sudden you get on the trails, and you're like, "This is why." <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, my 2018 XRS 850 with Robert Reinhardt's 2016 Blizzard up in yeah. Remember that guy, Robert Reinhardt sent Reinhardt. us pictures of that rap Blizzard. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm remembering now. Michigan. Yeah. yeah, I have a BM Fab rear bumper with a skins front high gear dual rate springs. 
Oh yeah, look at the springs on that XRS. Beef, bike man tune, SHR clutching, and jaws wide pipe and mid pipe. Nice. It's no wonder Rob doesn't want to race. Well, I guess not. You're on an 850 versus an eight an 800 right to start. Yeah, yeah. Look at those shocks. That's awesome. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Like yeah, Pasty Boy said Gary had the 18 XRS and now has the 2020. So oh, I thought he, he kept his, it. I thought he no yeah, sold his 2018 XRS like that. Now he has the 2020. Yep, yep. Right on. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Yeah, he didn't ride it though. He, it was always too dirty or too too thin yeah, he, rails and well, stuff. He would always like, use his old one because he didn't want. He didn't want yeah. to use. But you know what? I know guys like that, and there's nothing wrong. They're like, I, I these conditions aren't good enough. Like I remember, and Pasty Boy, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But the first time Pasty Boy and then went out and going through mud bog, and and Gary's like, that's why I don't go out. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, that's what well, he said. You know, well, I, I, those funny. days are gone too. I remember I used to do that. I, I remember going out early, you know, brand new SRX, and I buried it in like three feet of a mud swamp, and I had to go get my four wheeler to pull it out. It was brand new sled just because I got excited because yeah, it had a ton of snow and nothing was frozen. Yeah, but we've all been there. No. Yeah. No, and I, you get blasted when you post a video like that. Like, what are you doing riding on two inches of snow and yeah. blah blah blah? And it's like, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, his twenty twenty is nice. Up. It's the same as yeah. It's the same as uh, um, it's the same as uh, as Mike Case sled too. So yeah, yeah Jesse right said on. he went through seven belts in two seasons. Two hundred fifty yeah, bucks a pop. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. That's another sled, right? You know. So, <laughs> and you know the yeah. twenty sixteen XRS, Dino had that sled with he traded it to the dealer now he went to the dealer every spring for for just a once over yeah and he's really meticulous on his bill so he knows what's get done Thirteen thousand three hundred kilometers and it still had the original plugs and the original belt on it and he right rides on. hard you yeah. know like yeah he rides hard so like that 2016 xrs is a beast and then they, they yeah. come out with the 17 and he was glad he didn't get an 850 because it's like that year, every there was a lot, not everybody, there was a lot of people, it's mostly mountain segment was complaining about belts. But obviously, uh, Jesse had one of the, had one of the, the bad the ones. You know? yeah. Yep. yeah. Now he's trying to sell his sled. So he has to point out that this new one has zero belts. Right, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm hilarious. Just kidding. He has that's the problem with being on youtube there's no secrets right yeah so now we all know that. Been knowing that yeah <laughs> there's some guy riding that riding that wraps right now going that's why i'm going through most many belts so yeah <laughs> sometime is now is still waiting for pasty boy to check out his channel ha 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 there you go i'm sure pasty boy has checked it out yeah i mean he's got nothing else to do it's not like he's busy yeah <laughs> So yeah. we got what two more two yeah. more w weeks left of shows, right, guys? And we're gonna do a yeah for sure. The last show we're gonna get everybody on. We'll the pressure the Pasty Boy into letting us know nice. what he's uh, what he's ordered, and you know, so yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Tony Cat changes his plugs and rotates his belt every season for ease of mind. Ease of mind. Yeah, yep, yep. Always I do. good. I Never push that it. On my, yeah, I'm eight hundred. I always put the, put a new belt in, put the old to spare. And yeah. next year I'd repeat, right? Yeah. And it's uh, like, yeah. Cause you're I just trust. playing with fire. Yeah. You're playing with fire yeah. when you do that. Right. I just trust yeah. Adam Furlong now at backyard wreck. Cause he, uh, he showed me like the, the E-Tech plugs, the tip will get, not the tip of the cap will get mm -hmm. a little bit of war in it. And he said that you'll get arcing and it'll run like crap. So yeah. Yeah. he says, uh, he said just, smart. he looks for that. And if it doesn't need changing, he does, he changed. If it does, he changed them out. So yeah, yeah, smart. So, Very those smart. Corys are trouble, Corey Wright said. I agree. <laughs> you know, Raymond says, get well, Bobby, speedy recovery. Uh, disappointed yeah. there's not a Matrix SKS, but after watching Rich's assault video today, did you put an assault video up? No, he's probably talking one of my original three. <laughs> yeah, the one from two years ago. I'm, a, I'm <laughs> an assault 852 inch track and maybe narrow the front end. It should be a good sled in New Brunswick. Oh yeah. What does everybody do for belt break in? You got to break them in slow, man, for 50k. Yeah. Uh, don't don't 
wa- clean them with soap and water in your sink, take them in the sink, scrub them up good, slap yeah. it on, break it in. Even your spare one, you say, especially on a big bore sled, mm-hmm. is, uh, is break your spare one and then, then take it off and put it in as a spare. So when you get a spare, you can get her, hold her yeah. wide and send her. Who's that, who's who made that comment about watching my video there? Well, you know what? It, he, he, uh, go on and Chris watch. Uh, yeah, Brett Turcott. He has he's the only guy in Canada that has a, 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 a Matrix Chaos boost right now, and he is so That's impressed cool. with it. And and with the shorter, t- so go take a look at that. You may uh, mind you, I don't even know if you can get any Chaos boosts. Just I think wait a all second gone. here. I think they're all. Yeah, hey, uh, Adam Furlong's out, out west right now, riding with a guy with one. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I said you got to get me some video footage of it from my channel. Yeah, yeah. Because I I watched uh, Brett Turcott. He just like I said, he apparently he's the only one that has one in Canada, and he absolutely cool. loves Maybe it's it. His. Yeah, it could yeah. be. Yeah, I watched this video last night, yeah. so it was pretty cool. Rumor, if you rumor check has it they got a Lynx they got a Lynx Boondocker out there too, but I haven't seen pictures of it oh, yet. Oh, that would be good to see. Eh? We haven't seen anything on that yet, yeah. have we? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. What's his name has one. Um, that that fellow that was uh, with um. Oh, he's a redheaded guy. Anyways, I can't remember. He has one. He has a Lynx Boondocker out there. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shag Boy says, whatever Zook does to break in a belt, do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. For sure. Hey, Zook had now, pretty good luck like with his, his, yeah. his, his new sled. He, he got out two or three times on that. He's yeah. had luck. And that's a yeah. nice looking sled, Zook. I like that. I, I like those. Those XRSs are wicked looking sleds. Yeah, I love it. I've been riding my sled like it's my job, Brad Hitchcock says. I love it. <laughs> Run the belt through the dishwasher after you oh. buy it. Yeah, like yeah, the thing. I, so, I wash soap and water, right? Yeah. So tell yeah, you so to Jake take Lowe, my advice. By the way. Ross Robinson has the boondocker links. That's who it is. Oh, okay, perfect. Thanks, Jay Flo. I appreciate that. That's who it was. Yeah. Yeah, right Fly Low. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so there should be some good videos coming out on that. So yeah, I love yeah. the little snow flap on the back of them. They're yeah. neat. Yeah, so they but, are cool, uh, man. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. I got another licks video I'm, I'm working on. I think I'm thinking about putting out. So we'll see. Oh, good. Yeah, Gary, it, I hope you get a new sled for the season. You deserve it. Thanks, Tony Cat. I I love you too, man. That's awesome. So, <laughs> but. Uh, I got to do something because I mean it's we're getting up in miles on that. I, I'm sad to see the 50 edition go because I love that sled to no end, but yeah. it's like so. It's getting to a point where do I put another rebuild in it or or which it would be after the next season because I get another season easy out of it. Oh or, for sure, just unload it now while it's still running, right? Yeah. And yeah. and Ro- my whole plan was to sell Roscoe this year, but it, mm-hmm. it's just. It's such a fun sled, the clutch and everything, and it's so good that I yeah, don't. You got it dialed in. Motion. You got it dialed in good. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it's uh, it's so good. And if I get a six hundred R, then I'll race them next year. So it'll be good. <laughs> right on. No one else will right race on. me with a six hundred R, so I got to buy one to race myself. <laughs> so but we'll yeah. see. But I think I want an eight fifty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You'd love it. Well, you had the eight fifty before, right? Right. Or was it no, 800? 800. 800. Yeah, 800. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I souped it up a bit. So, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, yeah something's going to happen. I don't know how new it'll get, but, and, and, but we'll see. But, uh, right on. You know, very good. I've got a couple of irons in the fire. Put it that way. We'll see what happens. So, yeah. You'll yeah, figure out something, right? You'll be, hauling, yeah. you'll be, you'll be, uh, you'll be hiding something. You may already be. I sense something, Gary. I, I don't know. I won't <laughs> be that good. I, well, no, I don't want to jinx anything, right? So no, I hear you know what? It's always best to do that, right? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, for sure. Good idea. So, yeah. But I will say, John Luke Energy Power Sports is awesome. He's he's been looking out for me too. So. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. You, yeah, they will get you nice onto something, bud, for sure. Places. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Odie says sleds don't love you back. They do. Roscoe loves me. Didn't Roscoe love you? Didn't you feel a caress? The soft caress on your buttocks there, Bodie, when you're riding it. You did. Come on. Yeah. I know you did. Yeah. The Odie's getting newer as well, for sure. So we're going to have fun next year. We'll be laughing all the way. We're going to pass Mike K and laugh laugh at you. <laughs> that one behind you, Gary. Yeah. That one. Right there. 
That's John Luke's demo right there. I rode that. It's oh, freaking it? awesome. Our Motion yeah. X. Yeah, he's nice. got that. He's got the new gauge and he's got the GPS holder on and he's got LED everywhere on the on the thing. Nice. It's, nice. it's pretty sweet. So right yeah. on. we drag nice. we drag race that in the links, by the way. Oh, did you? And how did it make yeah. out? What was what was the outcome? Or you got it on video and you're not gonna share that? <laughs> we we got on, on we got on video and I and I can share it, but the yeah. uh it's an 850 e tech So I mean they're if you could get the links to to hook up and if you could get the 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 XRS to hook up, we finally did. We did it three passes yep. and uh and they're identical. Oh nice. But the links the links you can't get hook up. It stands up and you're letting off yep. and Oh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, now was it? St it wasn't studded, right? The links isn't studded, right? No, it was a nice ripper, like a, a okay. one point five. Okay, yeah. okay. Believe me, it uh, it 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 spun and bit in like you wouldn't believe. Like yeah, it yeah. it is an animal. It's pretty cool. Oh but yeah, yeah. You stud those things, man. That are uncoupled. It's they're dangerous. They're they're crazy. They're fun. You laugh. It's, yeah, it's hilarious. I, you just have a, a grin. Well, oh, you bet. listen to Drew on it when he, <laughs> he cracked on yeah. it. That was funny. Yeah. Uh, 1.75 would have been, uh, would be an awesome track on that thing. Yeah. Like the storm. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah, for the, sure. The, sometimes now the links looks like a nice sled, but not for my riding style. And that's the thing. It's got to be, absolutely. Like you look at those shocks, they're like they're 46 millimeter, man. Like you're my honest hammered. opinion, Gary. It's a great sled for guys who will be aggressive and all that, but there's going to be guys that are going to be buying it and they're going to be wanting to get out of it because it's too stiff. Like that thing's set up for like almost snow cross racing. Like it's a great sled, but there'll be guys that'll be, oh, I shouldn't have bought it. It's too it stiff for me, you know? But. It, it's a, it's It didn't feel obnoxiously stiff. Yeah. It's stiffer than an XRS, but it's yeah. not like an XRS is deceiving. It's. Mm -hmm. It's such a yeah. it's such a capable sled and and made for big bumps, but it doesn't it feels like you're riding on a Cadillac, right? Yeah. And the uh, but the 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 XRS, yeah, like the snowstorm says, Bobby will probably swap to the 175. I think I so, and I hope he does. Yeah. Yeah. I hope he yeah. does because that like yeah. you put that in there, and you know what? Like put the uh, eye grip screw and studs in it, and yeah. dude, that thing would be a beast. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll hook up like Jack the Bear for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. But yeah, I'd yeah. say like it's a great like the 850 E-Tech's a great engine, but the uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yep. No, and good. the Lynx is cool. The Lynx is is tray cool. I mean, it's going to be neat to see them on the trail next year. Yeah, I just don't will. want one coming at me with the skis in the air on a turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was wild to see that one in Cochrane, and like I said, the guy owned it, so he bought it from a dealer yeah. in up there. So. It's pretty cool to see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, I imagine they get them in, and they probably got their spring order sold out, and they went, "Okay, we we don't need the yeah. demo anymore. Away it goes, yeah. right?" So, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, Brad Hedgecock says my XRS is tame, you know. So, yeah, but yeah, that's the thing. It's like a lot of guys that have the XRS don't ride them like they should, right? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to see, like, I'm looking forward that we know Bobby to get it, because I want to, and if we get to ride with him next year, I want to, yeah, it'll be nice to yeah. have ride with someone that has one. That'll be great, right? Yeah, just to, I would have liked to, to I would have, yeah, and I would have liked to spend more seat time on it. Like, we had, yeah. we had three of us that, that, uh, that met there with the sled, and it's, and I, I had the drone out and stuff, so I was more filming. I took the yeah. first ride on it, which was really cool, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, so I got the honor of riding it first and then it's like, okay, guys here, do it. And I'll just film you. And so that was yeah. kind of neat. And then the yeah. footage didn't turn out. So but but what yeah. I want to do is talk to a guy, Gary, or see it. Cause everyone I've known, like, like you guys got to ride it in the field. I want to hear guys' opinions when they're going through the, like this guy would have rode through smooth rock falls. And I wish I would have got to talk to him. Cause it was like this, that's where yeah. I want to see how it, and I bet yeah. you that's where it's going to shine. Right. Yeah. That's but, what it's like in Finland. Right. But you have to be on the throttle to get, like, you know, from the assault, like oh, yeah. do you have to be on the throttle to get that. So you're yes. doing, you're doing 90 miles an hour on, on the trail. The faster you go through that stuff that's like this, the better it gets. Yeah. 
Yeah, because there's oh. a spot in my video where Corey's on the rough stuff, and it's just he's got the skis up, and it's just like da 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 da, yeah. yeah, and it's yeah. awesome. But I'm going like, yeah. you're not going to ride the trails like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like no, it's well, it, and that's like, the thing, and that's and and then on the regular trails, is it going to be too like that's the thing? Like I don't know. It's it and because it's new sled, nobody knows, right? Until we get no. until we get someone that that rides both and get the feedback, and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. But like yeah. I said. But it's like any sled. So many people buy sleds that they think they're going to like, and it isn't right for them, right? So it, you're going to get yeah. that all over the place. So but Brad, yeah, be Brad Hitchcock thing. said he started with Skidoo in 1996 with a mock, and he had to go back. <laughs> right he on. Ordered a, that, that is going to be a sled I want to sit my butt on. The mock sled? I think that, yeah, yeah. So Sometimes did you, now. Did you see um, uh, Martin Barkey's post from MBRP? So he got to no. go out with the guys from, from Snow Tracks, and he has an right. SRX – a 2021 SRX, right? Which is basically yeah. the, the 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 late king right now. Them and the Thundercats, and he said he's going to get himself a Mach Z. So nice. he said that launch thing was sweet. The launch mode, you know, yeah, how it, yeah. it builds up, you know. So yeah, yeah that's cool. that's funny. Yeah. yeah, it'll be cool to see. Yeah. Oh, I I think the Smart Shocks. I like so. Yeah, he rode one. That'd be neat to talk to a guy that rode one. The Smart Shocks, because mm-hmm. I'm talking not just the it's on all the X package as an option, right? So it'd be neat yep. to see, you know, but Neil Owen says the XRS is more than capable of handling anything in Ontario or Quebec. The rave will be a lot of a learning curve, but will be a lot of fun once you learn to handle it. Exactly. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. Cody's got here. What do you think about the lack of any major updates for 2022 Arctic cat sleds? A lot of guys are really negative about our cats saying they'll be out of business. They're not going to. So, as Bobby said, if you watch Bobby's video, and everyone else notated this, whenever Cat does a clutch change the year before, there's always a new chassis that follows. So uh, Six has pointed it out, and a couple of other guys. So they've gotten away from the team clutch, and they're building their own clutch again. So I guarantee you, well, I shouldn't say guarantee you, but I think next year or the year after the very latest, you will be seeing Cat and Yamaha's new new chassis, is my bet, and, and talking to a couple yeah. of guys that are... I've said the same thing. So so don't count Cat out uh, or Yamaha. And I'll be honest with you guys. I don't want to see two manufacturers. That's not going to be good for anyone. Mm-hmm. I, you want to have four manufacturers, guys. So that's, no, that's my they, opinion, they, I think. They probably, had to, they probably had to plan for, for the worst when BRP's lawsuit was clamping yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. But And you know what? Let, let them do it. Yeah. You know, Shag Boys, is anyone concerned about shots, smart shocks breaking? And I said, no, that's what warranty's so, for. So I found out too, by the well, well, you don't want that thing failing on you on a trip, Gary. And so I found out, apparently, if they fail, the sensors fail, it'll put itself into hard mode. It's going to, it'll put itself what? in the stiffest mode. It has to. It has, it has to. to. <laughs> well, you think about it. Can you imagine if, if all of a sudden the sensors fail and it's, your sled's doing this? There's no way. Don't they just turn into regular shocks then? What's that? Don't they just turn into regular shocks? No, it's sensing everything. It's constantly changing the how it reacts. Yeah. So if they fail, it, it automatically will put it into the stiffest mode possible. So yeah, Jesse I, says correct. Yeah. But you know what? It's made by BRP. Nothing fails from BRP. Oh, Jesus, buddy. Don't say that. You just knock on wood. <laughs> some, hey, everybody take this guy out. He's just knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing yeah. failed. That's what my dealer said anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm just First year, I would think there would be problems, Shag Boy says. Still, yeah, still I, like anything. You know it. what? You got to be careful with anything new that comes out, man, because you're basically a test guinea pig. So, you know, yeah. with everybody, right? So, yeah. and it's interesting sometimes too now, to see. But sometimes but, yeah. now says when he was 18, if all else fails, he put himself into hard mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see though. But yeah. that is that that is cool. Like you know, I mean, you've been seeing it in side by side, right? Polaris has had that for a long time in side by side. BRP yeah, just went through it. They're BRP amazing. BRP running theirs, so I mean, yeah. how can they go wrong? It's yeah. like the turbo. Did the turbo yes. fail at all? Yeah. What? Well, no, not. But have you noticed BRP is not doing four year engine warranties anymore? Has anyone talked about that? They're now three years. So no. think about it. Think about it. No, but have you heard you heard about belt failures the moment the seventeens came out? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've not heard of any any turbo nine hundred ace turbo failures. No, 
No. If, if there is, no. it's it's very few and far between. So yeah. if yeah. they've had the 900 Ace Turbo technology was inspired from what they had in the side by side, they're taking smart shocks from the side by side. How can they go wrong? It's the same deal. Well, it is, but you're also talking cold winter, right? Like it'll be it'll be a test for sure. You know, so yeah. I don't but, think it's going to be an issue. Yeah. We'll see. We'll have this conversation next year, and we'll go. Yeah, yeah, hey, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. So, but yeah, yeah. and it's a great concept. Like you're going to see that down the road. That's the future, obviously, right? You know, for yeah, going around exactly. the corner, that could actually really help inside ski lift, right? So that that and power steering. Yeah, yeah. Power steering on an ATV is a game changer, man. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah, Jumpman Jay's considering a Skidoo next year. He should do it. Yeah. yeah. Jumpman Jay could do an XRS and put it through its paces. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Try it out, buddy. You know, they all make good yeah. sleds. That's, you know, but like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Cat and Yamaha have coming out. I was hoping it would be this year because of Cat's 65th anniversary, right? So, yeah. 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 And yeah, Shag well, that's Boys, that's what I think. Cold winter, snow and ice. Yep. The cold does different yeah. things to sensors, man. <laughs> Neil Owen says you can extend the warranty on any BRP snowmobile for an additional four years as long as it's still in the warranty when you extend it. Yeah, you got to pay for it. I'm talking about from the factory when you buy it. They're no longer yeah, offering yeah. four years. It's three yeah. years now. So, yeah. and that's, you know, and that pisses me off because now obviously Polaris is going to follow suit, right? You follow what the number one guy's doing. So it's like, which I think we all lose in that aspect, right? But yeah. But yeah. We'll see. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But be interesting. No, there you go. No, that's a, that's the thing. It's a, it's interesting. It's when you think they've done it all, then yeah. they it's amazing they come up with something else. Like like you got to hand it. Smart Shocks is pretty cool. You know. Oh yeah, for, absolutely. Just, and you knew it was coming because they've had them in the side by sides for a while. Yeah. You know, but the thing like the is, seven S gauge on the Polaris is pretty cool. Yeah, you know, that's like, been in the side by side for the last three four years, right? That exactly. same gauge was I mean, in the side by side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty. So. It's pretty amazing the the technology that's coming out. So yeah, I mean it's it's yeah, uh, but you know you see it more and more, and it just the price of sleds just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up and up, right? But you see the technology in them; it's crazy. So, yeah. but we all win. That's why I'm saying with four manufacturers, we all win because they all push each other no matter what, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and the rumor, other. the rumor I heard that this chassis coming from Cat and Yamaha, they're not looking to gain like third or fourth. They said they're going for number one. Like that's how long they've been. Really? So, wow. Which I think, how amazing would that be if they came out with a chassis that just blew the door? Like it would be something like a rev. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? When yeah. BRP came out, I think that would be awesome. And it would push the other the other guys big time, right? So we yeah. shall see. Yeah. What do, they, what do they call that when, when people take photos of a test? Uh, of a test car like that's not out yet what do they call that uh come on guys help me out here when when cars are being released and people take pictures and they're wrapped in in the oh in those in those little yeah in the different yeah, things and, and the all prototypes the, the prototypes yeah, what, and that, yeah. There's, a, there's a name for those photos i want oh, to I don't google know. see if leaked photos i don't know yeah no they're not leaked they're all, they're all concept they're all they're all throwing it through your prototype concept yeah. leak photos <laughs> prototype, no yeah. there's a name for the type of photos spy Is photos it? i think oh, that's spy it. photos okay yeah, yeah 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 so and apparently the other thing i heard on is, the snow is, right now if it's coming out next year they're riding it is, is covid covid has uh has put a damper into it so but anyways it'll be interesting to see and i'm hoping for that like that would be great for for cat and yamaha and also for the cat and yamaha faithful you know a lot of the guys that have jumped ship because of them waiting you know so but. oh god oh, uh, okay this what? is no there this is not right hold on I'm what did you find what oh. did you <laughs> i don't what did if you this is it then they're in trouble like bad well, trouble. yeah but yeah, but oh, it's like i mean hold on well if if this is the spy photo of the new arctic cat and this well. guy it, it's coming from a good source rich He's oh, uh, he's seen this sled coming from the the uh, the factory. It's a leaked photo of uh, from the Arctic Cat factory in Thief River Falls. He snapped a shot of a test rider leaving the factory and riding a covered slash disguised sled. The fact that the hood can't be seen in concert with the bright green spindles and A arms and seat pattern, 
I suggest. Oh, this is 2011. Sorry, yeah, I was going to yeah. say they so wait before because the snow pro, that was the Procross chassis that here, came here out. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this yeah, is yeah. sorry. I was going to say if they come out, yeah. this is the new chassis. They're yeah. in trouble. Well, you can tell with the front A arms alone. Look how small they are compared yeah. to their new ones, right? Yeah. But Spy Photos is the name of the the photos. There we go. Is spy it? shots. Sometimes yeah. now my Thai lay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Everybody's got it. So yeah. yeah, that's not it. Spy shots, Cody Spencer. So if anyone's got a spy shot, send it in. Of the, <laughs> the Arctic Cat Yamaha. So they got to have it on the snow. Somebody has to have seen it. Yeah. You know? But yeah. Uh, they're pretty quiet of those of those things, though. Man, you don't see much of that, right? Cars are a hard thing because you got to drive them on the thing, but these guys all take them to the test facilities where nobody's around. Yeah, true. They, there's so many acreages out in the middle of nowhere they can ride these things on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So, but yeah, it's uh, that's crazy. Yeah. What the heck is Rich drinking? I want some sometimes <laughs> now. Says, <laughs> have you seen the Yamaha XTX LE? I don't know. Have you seen that? I, you know what, Tony? I, I did watch some of their videos there, but um, yeah, I didn't. I, you know what? I, I probably didn't see it, but I heard some good things. Some people are, are liking what they've got here. So it's the 9000 Turbo in a Riot. Oh, there you go. Interesting. That'd be cool. Seriously? I'm sure. But yeah. That would be uh, a riot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's kind of cool. I I looked at just his pictures of SRX has come up. Yeah, so it must yeah. be pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, I don't think he can go or still has wrong. Yamaha with still has time to come on to snowmobile sessions live, don't they, Rich? Yamaha. Yeah. Yeah, we should we, come on yeah. next week. Yeah. Work on them. Yeah, I will see what we can do here. I mean, they can't be busy. Maybe they could bring some spy shots. Yeah, and tell us about things. Yeah, that would be good. Hey, yeah, see what can. happens. I'd like Let to see just... players come up with a four-stroke to compete with Skidoo's 900T. Yeah. You know what yeah. J Fly Low says, have you been to Thief River Thief Falls? River Falls. It's not, it's very, not pop very populated. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes now it says, Rich, when you said Yamaha and Arctic Cat might jump to number one, laugh my ass off. <laughs> Who knows? Hey, but that's man. what they're going for. Hey, that's shoot for the stars, you'll end up in the moon. You know that's what I right. mean? You yep. shoot for the moon, you'll end up in the stars, right? Like, yeah. yeah. And that's what they want people to do, right? And say, so you'll see, you'll never know. Like yeah. I said, you need four manufacturers. I think it would be boring with just Skidoo and Polaris, to be honest with you. Yeah. But, oh, it would for sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. But, and they do make good product, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah uh, your buddy, your buddy that had that uh, SRX. What what track did he have on the stock one? It's like an inch, isn't it? It's an inch, yeah, yeah, because it's a lake yeah. racer. It's made for like, I mean, the thing yeah. high, just holds the mail. That's yeah, like it, stupid uh, fast. I rode with the I rode with the guy, but he didn't push it that hard. And boy, what a yeah. beautiful like the sled's a beautiful sled. I mean, and he's got an old one too. He's got an original SRX, so he's got two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the other brands will join BRP and get rid of their key starts. It's been 20 years since BRP ditched the key. Yeah, it's true. And maybe BRP will put some LED lights in. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I have to say that. You, Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you, uh, do yeah. you, do you, what are your, what's your opinion on the key? Like, like, do you yeah, care? It's too, it, it is, it's, it's medieval. Like, well, well hello. Take a look at this. My, the XCR is finally coming with a magnetic tether. <laughs> if it tethers, if you nice. wanted a tether, you'd have to buy them yourself. Like it's yeah. about time, right? So, anyways, yeah, yeah it's. Uh, I agree. I think keys are medieval. Like, let's get with the times, yeah. right? You know, there should be fobs. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Nope, I'm rocking LED eagles again. <laughs> yes, buddy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we gotta Actually, keep our B2, buddy. You know, yeah. the B two series. Yeah, thank you guys. The B two series is an awesome light as well. It's is that, uh, which the one did you get for for Bobby Gary? Was that the B two B two two series? Or no, that was in? Eagle. That was yeah, Eagle. Yeah, Eagles. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he got one of the last sets before he ran out. But then I yeah. I searched high and low, and and the B two series is I'm excited about them. They're they've got no rectifier. It's built into the bulb, so it's newer technology, oh, and nice. they stole the they've stole the engineering of the bulb. So it's 
it's pretty darn close and it's 20 bucks less a pair so it's uh oh nice it's a great setup so, so you're, uh, actually, uh, anyone rocking them yet like have you used them oh yet? yeah mike mike k uh, i've got a set yeah. in my sled like nice um, you like them good yeah i had i had to try it just to see because if they're if they're crap i'd know by now but there's uh yeah they're they're awesome they're, yeah there's quite a few running them so there's no no complaints on them so far yeah. so it's uh it's yeah. something i'm going to push hard next year uh move people into that because i think it's a great bulb the customer support on my side is is yeah. really good and uh yeah so and i just put them in my truck oh nice yeah right that's on. coming you, oh, you, oh, you, dude, the, yeah. the ram that my my headlights were the worst uh my biggest beef with that ram is the wiper blades and the headlights and buddy the bumper lights yeah. are like i don't need any other lights those the the bumper lights now are nice. bright well yeah. they're they're basically the same lights like jesse has in his sled in my yeah. fog lights oh nice yeah yeah that's why i hated my f-150 they had the uh the uh what do you call it? halogen bulb and they were they were like yellow it was like an old candle like you yeah. were lighting a 70s candle it's like come on yeah. that's why i liked when i got my rebel they all came with white led lights fog and and, and up uppers too but that's you'll have to send pictures, bud. You'll have to do a video yeah. on your truck when you put them in. Right, I, I'm like gonna. I've got it before done. and after. Are yours? Are yours actually LED or are they just pro projector? No, Not no, like they're LED, but the the Rams are LED on on my on the Rebel. Same with the fog lights. They're a wicked color. Yeah, that's there's the yellow. The yeah, and that's yeah. that's yeah. that's the halogen on the other side. Yeah, yeah that's it's, nice. It's, oh wait, where are we going here? Day. Yeah, there it is together. Like. Yeah. The only nice. thing with the RAM is that you have to take the grill out. You have to take the whole uh, bulb out, the whole housing to get at yeah. the bulbs. But once yeah. you get the I grill the same out. same thing on my like, Ford. Yeah. 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 No, it's true. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know why, why yeah. all these manufacturers, like, just put LEDs in from the fact. And that was the one thing I liked about the Rebel. It came with all LEDs, interior and exterior. And it, it yeah. makes a difference, man. So I did, the, I did the headlight, high beam, low beam, two bulbs. The nice. bumper uh, driving lights. I did the the license plate light and the and the reverse lights. Oh, the reverse nice. lights because I got tinted windows, so you turn yeah. the LED reverse lights are amazing. Yeah. Well, right and your on. truck would be all outfitted. With yeah, it. do 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 a video on it, but that'll be great to see. I've got it done. I've got it done. So the only thing yeah. is, it was I I didn't order brake lights, okay. and uh, and then I I asked them about the. Uh, the brake lights and he said that some guys will find that the brake lights flicker like okay. um, like not flicker but when you turn your signal light on because they got the signal light in them they'll they'll flash like you've oh, got you need the resistor out. for it? okay yeah, yeah yeah so he said yeah. that he he said yes we got them but you know and that's the thing i love about them they're honest about that right yeah so it's good. like you know i'm gonna leave my brake lights the way they are the rest is great yeah i'll sell it as a kit it's gonna be sold as a kit on my store so Good. you just click Dodge Ram and I'll have a projector version and my version, which is standard, and you'll be able to upgrade the whole shebang. That's awesome, buddy. That'll be good, man. That'll be yeah, good. So, Looking forward yeah. to seeing that. That's good. So you'll have that on your store too. So if anyone wants has a truck. Yeah, for sure. Moto store too. Moto, oh. Yeah, motojungle.ca, and I'm going to re be revamping that site. So, um, yeah, so it'll be uh, – time coming over the summer so i got lots of time so but uh yeah the dodge the dodge ram is like and i i haven't ridden driven it far at night so tomorrow night i work so tomorrow wait till you see the difference it'll blow you away yeah. at night those other after bulbs are shit yeah you, you'll yeah you'll be, yeah. You'll be it, was blown away, like, it was always like there's a wall like of yep. just just yep. boom and then drew and, and i went it, for a drive last night and it's like and he started my yeah. truck just to see but in the driveway it, it goes God, it's just lit right up but it's the brown yellow light it throws where these throw a, like a white blue it's it's you can't yeah. compare them that's awesome but i'll have no, it for you that's no. good man that's good that you got them yeah, too so cool. yeah right yeah on. so it's neat so and then the uh we've got a line of jeep lights coming out so if anyone's got a nice. jeep wrangler or jeep yj in right two on. weeks i'm gonna have some pretty nice pretty sick options for uh for right jeep on. so it's cool right almost on. makes you want to get a jeep just to <laughs> put them in there but my buddy's got one so we're gonna fire him in his and nice. and uh and see what that's like so yeah it'll, it'll be pretty cool that's good yeah. man. good
Well, yeah. you've been supplying the sled industry, buddy, for everybody, so that's good, man. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Everyone's happy with them. Sure. They look good. They make so, a huge difference, right? Nothing worse oh, yeah. than shitty headlights in anything you do. Yeah. Bikes, sleds, cars, trucks. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah, you know? well, and 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 Mike K, he's ordered. He might be in the chat, but Odie's his buddy. So the Mike K, that's the first set that he's had. And I basically just said, keep them. You know what I mean? Like we installed them. And then we he's ridden for weeks, like a month. And yeah. then he... He says to me last weekend, buddy, I'm never going to have not LEDs in a sled. This is amazing. He said, it's yeah. unbelievable. And he goes, yeah. I'm driving behind people. I'm shadowing them. And I said, yeah, like if you see the cutout of them in the snow and he goes, they yeah. can't, they can see better with my headlights riding behind them yep. than they can see when with their own and I'm on. Yep. So, and it's funny when you ride with a bunch of guys and, and everyone has LEDs, but one or two guys and it's them that that notice the difference too. Right. Because like yeah, you said, it's yeah. it, it's like night and day. It's like, and it's not only like, that, like, it's for safety. It's not even just the look. Like you get yeah. to see way more down the trail, right? So, Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And if you're videoing, like anybody riding, running a GoPro, it's totally, uh, totally amazing camera yeah. running. Like, cause you can, yeah. it lights up the trail so much yeah, better. It's like yeah. a, yeah, it's studio yeah. lighting, right? For sure. But yeah, it's no, pretty cool. Good, buddy. But yeah. yeah. So yeah, motojungle.ca. Yeah, hop on Get there and you'll LED see the LED there, light boys. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right but on. it's gonna. I'm gonna change that site site up a bit and switch it up. And yeah. Eagles are still not uh, not back in stock there, and but th they'll get there. So, hey, Randy Weiler, Randy Weiler. Oh, that's good, go. man. Here, I gotta put that up on screen here. Thanks a lot, buddy. We got to ten bucks from him. <laughs> Very good. And and four, is that five thumbs up? Hey, now, question. I noticed Colorado and Minnesota got nailed with a storm. Did you see that? Where, like out west, Midwest, they get they get like a foot and a half. Is anybody in here that, out there? Because I've I seen that on, even watching, you know, Gracie, wherever she's from. Like, yeah, yeah. She had to shove yeah. her, wherever they're out there, they got nailed. So. Yeah. Did she A6 offer? Did she offer the guy that shoveled her some prizes and not deliver on them, or what? Oh no, is that still happening? Because Slow <laughs> yeah. was asking me about that actually, and I, I, I meant to bring that up with you. But yeah, yeah. no, uh, the uh, the Narpro I contacted, I reached out to a couple of them, but yeah. I know I know some guys like the Octane Inc. never got their shit, and yeah, it's oh, sad. But cool. oh well. Yeah. Yep. I'll make no sure one. I vet the people better. I'll, I'll not vet the people. She was awesome. I love her still, yep. but yep. I'll vet the, and she was just told what she um, yeah. was given, but yeah. I'll make sure I vet the prizes better next, next year for sure. My summer project is to turn an 05 MXZ 500 SS into an off-road trike. I love that. I want to see yeah. pictures of that G that money. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll I'll get be right there. back. I'll be right back. Give me a second here. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, and sometimes now you already the 850 won't notice fuel mileage difference. The other sled is a Renegade 600 E Tech, and uh, they get awesome fuel mileage. So I use more fuel with his 900 Turbo, so he carries a fuel caddy. Plus, the Gen 4 has got like one gallon of gas less fuel capacity than the older sleds. Yeah, oh, Tony Cat got his stuff from Octane Inc., so that's great. Yeah, I reached out to all the vendors that uh, that um, that uh, that won, gave them the names, and and away we go. And the Blair Morgan shirts should be being shipped out this week or next week, so they're coming up. So that's that's great. So yeah, so it sounds like we're we're uh, everybody's working hard on it. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. Sometime is now. Yep, exactly. I didn't realize that until my buddy Dino with the six hundred R said that. Uh, that the um just he said that i'm running a gallon less than you so i need gas you guys don't and he goes imagine where how far you can go on a 600 e-tech on a gallon of gas yeah uh hey gary uh, tlh 001 says i just installed my led bulbs you bulbs you sent me they look great thank you now did you get the b2 series or the eagles let me know on that tlh 001 the B2 series are my new favorites, man. I love them. Uh, 
got an oil link in my 900T, 1,500 kilometers on the sled. That's There we go. That's we got a turbo with some issues. Really? Rick, yeah. Oil what? leak on, huh. on, a, on a 1,500K on the sled there. So huh. there he got the B2 series there, TLH01. He said they're awesome. Yeah. That's cool. His 600 E-Tech is a 170-mile range. See, we get probably 200 uh, miles. I think they're rated for 222, but I don't know that I've ever seen that high on it. And averaging 15 to 18 miles a gallon on 21 XRS 850, which is awesome because I think we're about 17 on our 09s. Yeah. 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 Even though there's always a person that needs gas, 15 mics from a station, miles from a station. Yeah. Miles there, Odie. They're amazing on gas. Odie, you would save enough on fuel savings and 4,000K to buy a new sled. Or right. I'm serious. Yeah. If you're riding 4,000 K a year on a carb 583 on a 600 E tech, you're using, you're using half the fuel. Like it's gotta be three quarters to, or a quarter to half the fuel of a, of a 583 carb. I'm not yeah. kidding at all. We yeah. had a five, I think I told you Odie, we had a 550 fan and I had my 800 E tech and we put a hundred and, $38 of fuel in all the jerry cans and stuff and $32 of it went into the went into the 800 e-tech and wow. Drew and I Drew is riding the 550 fan yeah wow so yeah, that, you're, you're trying to keep up right so yeah. that's a weekend right and it's like yeah you know and I brap over every bump and like <laughs> wheelie when I can and like I rode that thing hard and it's like yeah it's you will see total savings and oil as well man like yeah, you're putting sure. in oil every ride we bought oil before we left there for up north and we didn't even use it we didn't even crack it open because we didn't need it and we rode the whole weekend so did over Corey. 600 kilometers Corey, yeah. i've emptied my 850 and 100k <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's not, awesome. not everybody rides like Corey, though <laughs> yeah, my buddy colt him and colt ride the same way yeah that's hilarious yeah 900 light yeah. comes on around 110 miles and I'll run it to about 130 and I'll take seven gallons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. He went through four large jugs of oil this winter. We went through one, we went through one large jug between two sleds. Now, uh, well, there you go. We would have done over 4,000 K with, with our sled, yeah. uh, two of us together. Like right. we're talking two of us together. So here's a deal. Mike, Muskoka Mike with his SR Viper Turbo, mm -hmm. he he sold it the next day after riding with Drew and I because he had to fill up for gas twice, and we filled up and he was using more gas than I put in the two 600 E techs. Yeah, because he no he flashed that Gary. It was stupid horsepower, right? So when you do yeah, that it, stuff, it you're was two hundred horse. It was it, there was there was higher above, but it okay. he had a people programmer in it. Yeah, yeah, they're thirsty when rocking the secondary injectors on the 850. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. three gallons of oil in 1500 miles. So, but yeah, the four sure. large jugs he's talking are the are the 9.46 liter jugs. <laughs> they're 163 dollars, I think each. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, crazy, so man. you got that, and then you got your fuel. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's yeah, the, funny. the 900 in eco mode is the exact same as the 600 e tech, but the yeah. 600 e tech's a lot more fun than the 900 in eco mode, right? Yeah. So, okay, here's Mark Bo, 2,400 kilometers on my 600 R and still using the first two and a half gallon I bought, about three liters still in the jug right now. Jesus, Mark, you going over go. 50 or what? <laughs> no. Right. Yes, he is. He's, good. he's loving yeah. that sled. I love his videos. He's just so pumped. Yeah, he's been it. putting out good videos, man. He's been yeah, putting out great so videos. so happy, man. Yeah. Yep. yep. So, and that's a nice sled you got, Mark. It is a great sled, but Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, no, he's saying the four liter jugs. There you go. Okay. okay so yeah. we're using the 9.46. We use one between two sleds. Yeah. So we're not. Yeah. So he's four liters. So we're. You know, <laughs> Corey, time to pull the throttle, Mark. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. good. Yeah. That's good, Mark. And you love it, buddy. That's good. That's all. Yeah, he does. He awesome. loves it. That's great. Yeah. So, yeah. hey, subscribe to Mark Bow on YouTube, man. He's yeah. getting up to close to a thousand. 
Jeez, you know, we got that's Sloby. great. Yeah, we got Sloby there. Mark's got a great channel. Sometime is now. Sometime is now has got a great channel. Yep. And here, hold on, guys. I'm going to post this in here so you guys can uh, can grab it. What's that thing on on the internet that you can watch people making videos? What's it called? MeTube or iTube or something? <laughs> hey, someone put put a thing on there apparently that they're some guy I follow. And he said they're changing their thing again or something on the commercials on how, how much they want to take off here. So I don't know. Anyways, I saw oh, something. Probably there. That's, that's the thing. Nothing sure. is, nothing is, uh, is, uh, set in stone. They can take it all away tomorrow. Yeah. Right. It's not huge money anyway. So no, no. no even though you're getting up, actually there's a guy I follow and he's got a million subscribers and he's, he, I haven't watched it yet. And he said, how much do I make off a million subscribers? So interesting to see what that what that is yeah but you can't go by that because they're probably some like shock jock and everybody makes different money on it right yeah it's uh, it's all about viewership that, right and, and retention of how long they watch your videos and stuff yeah and then yeah. sometimes is now channel is right there so subscribe to them as well um already subs all these guys dominated 286 does that's awesome there yeah. you go yeah so there's two good channels we're going to promote tonight yeah, and Shag Boys too. Like, yeah, I don't Shag know Boys is good. Shag yeah, Boys. We're put that out there. Yeah, if Shag Boys passes Pasty Boy. He won't be happy. <laughs> hey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Gary will start making a channel too. That'll be hilarious. That'd be good. No, he won't. <laughs> he doesn't like being on. He doesn't like being on the two channels he's on now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zook's got to put one out. Yes. yes. Zook smoking sensations. All right. There we yeah. go. It's really good. Yeah. Who else is on there? Who else is, wants a link put up there? I don't know. Yeah. That's good. That's man. pretty much it. Anyway, I think uh, I think on that note, you should probably. Yeah. There we go. Sled Scrod subscribe. Mark Bose says thanks. Gary, no problem, man. Mark and I, he's a good guy, man. We rode yeah. once. We didn't ride this year because he wouldn't ride with me. <laughs> so anyway yeah. we got out for a little one gary but we wanted to get out more too we'll, we'll yeah. do that again you, came up. you should have came up we got to go to perry sound from my place next year buddy it's yes. such a good run yeah when Odie and i have our brand new sleds we'll freaking take you on for it sure we'll cook, Absolutely, you. Buddy. we'll cook you trailside lunch yeah, yeah. Look, look at this i have zook's contract locked up for five years shag boys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right on that's good yeah. Don't worry, right Pasty Boy's got locked up for six. So right. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, man. Yeah. That's Sled good. Squad says he'll take some subscribers. I don't know. Are you worthy, Sled Squad? Here, let me just see what he's got here. Are you worthy? <laughs> <laughs> what am I at? I think I'm, I'm I'm only at like 270 or something like that. Holy oh, shit. Sled Squad Sled Squad's got a whole 17 subscribers. He's only yeah, got, give him some he's got six videos. He's got six. He's got videos. more than me. He's got four more than he's me. Got double the videos. <laughs> three more than me. I got three videos up. So yeah. Yeah. when you watch that's all awesome. of Rich's three videos yeah. here, I'm going to put that in here. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. I got like about seven in the bank. I just got to get out, but you know what? We'll get him out by the fall or maybe there. There we go. Maybe this card. Okay. Wait, we got to put. We got to put, uh, we got to put, yeah. And listen, if you're on Instagram, follow the Odie the Sled guy because he gets, uh, he gets, uh, spiffs from his work if he gets followers. Yeah. So yeah. Look at, look follow. at Sloby. Yeah. We got to build rich. Thanks, Sloby. That's good, buddy. I know he does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thanks see, the problem with rich outdoors is, I don't know, freaking, you got to make sure you spell it right. <laughs> I've been picking up at least one to two day last week. Right on. Sometimes now it's good. You got good content, bud. I like your stuff. It's good. Everybody's up. Everybody that's in here has got really good channels. It's, eh, nice. it's not for me. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're too much, buddy. Here we yeah. go. There we go. Rare rich. Sorry, I, I've been giving everybody the love and not you, man. I think there's an underscore underneath it, isn't there? No, no, well, no, it's not. I didn't no, it's put not. it there. Sorry, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, good. it's small, it's lowercase, yes. rich, and then all caps outdoors. Yeah, so yeah. You got to awesome. change the name. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's true, right? The rich, out, the rich outdoors. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Seriously, man. everybody should watch sometimes two part video on the 219 mile of a Winona Forest. 
it's some good riding in New York. Yeah, right on. Right on. Marple, I'm pretty pissed about it. We had five good weeks at a 52 in a year. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, sh it's short, right? So, you know, you got to make the most of it. It is a crazy sport, right? That's what I was saying to my buddy Colton when we were driving up. You know, who's driving eight and a half hours, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, but you do it, right? Get the one last ride in, so. But, yeah. I found o Odie's catching up to you, buddy. He's got six subscribers. Nice. Good. There we're going. Odie's, Odie's a good one. If Odie ever finds his phone, he might have some good content with me on it. <laughs> yeah, oh, he lost there, his phone, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that's good. There, there we go. That's I hilarious. put them up there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's coming. Yeah, you up got soon. them there. That's good, buddy. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. awesome. Rev Riders probably reeling right now, going, "What are they doing? Jackknifing <laughs> my trailer, my yeah, channel." Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Perfect. And don't forget to subscribe to me, you buggers, and promote oh, everyone yeah. else. And here I am. Plug I'm losing there, subscribers. Buddy. Losing subscribers. Yeah, I'm not gonna, losing anything, man. Wow, you know what, what a great channel. Yeah. Hey, and I ride the new Mach One, right, Jesse Buckman? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, yeah. You just, yeah, you're hey, right. Mark, Sometimes now you got to be dedicated to the sport, which we all are, right? Yeah. So it it is yeah. it is a great sport for hey, sure. Oh, oh, let me see what Odie's got. He's got apparently seven now. Is it that instant? Oh, you're gonna build him right up, Gary. He'll be rocking. Oh, he That's owes good. me. I get dollars every subscriber he gets from the show. To, he's got eight. <laughs> oh, two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another one. That's awesome. Oh, he's still eight. Can we get him to ten tonight? Nine. He's got nine. Oh, oh, no, he's just going to be going. He's going to be building. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's good. Oh, come on. I got to see ten before we before I shut this show down. Yeah. <laughs> So if you want to learn learn about Kias, he's the guy. He's got it all on there. <laughs> right so, on. Oh, he's got to go back and 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 subscribe now to Mark. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, six string Brian. It's his first year sledding. He loves it, but it was a short season. That's yeah. cool. I love to hear that. Hey, yeah. welcome to Snowmobile, and it's always a short season. Yeah. And you had a good season. Now we got so, two more weeks left of episodes, and then before you know it, we'll be back in October, Gary. Eh? He's when we start. Yeah. Back up. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully yeah. we can get Pasty Boy on. You know, maybe we'll get some time as now on and Mark Bo too. Yeah. So, yeah. Change him yeah. up, right? No, we'll, uh, we'll get it on there and, yeah. and away we go. So, Very okay, good. let's let's shut this shit show down, shall we? Sounds good. Sounds Thanks good, again, buddy. Rich. Bobby, Bobby, yep. all the best to you and the COVID, and hopefully you can kick its arse. And yep. don't forget to, don't forget to get your, uh, your COVID masks at uh, – stuff like this.ca slash masks and don't forget about energy power sports you've got till march 31st to give them a buzz and spring order your brand new skidoo whether it's a lynx or brp lynx yeah or uh or give them a call they they're they're moving can-am spiders and rikers out the door like crazy right now so yep. get in there for spring dominator 286 says thanks gary and rich Y'all come back on, chat it up. See you guys next time, Mark Bo says. And Slow B says, good fellas, guys. Feel better, Bobby. <laughs> of course he does. Yeah. It's only later, yes. boys. Always good to see you guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing, what Odie says, and then we'll see you next week. Yes. For sure, man. Perfect. Well, thanks again, right, Rich. Yep. Yeah, we're going to run the credits here. Okay, guys? Yep. Sounds good, guys. It's a journey.